be good. All right, Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites. All right, want to start off by giving all praises to our uh, Heavenly Father and Big Bro. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakudash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect, the elect of your tribes, all right, which um, of the tribes of Israel, which Israel is a so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans today, all right, through the spirit, all right, we're all here to tell you that, you know, the Lord is coming back to give, right? Because judgment is coming and judgment comes closer, all right? So the more, the more you feel more relaxed, the closer judgment is. You know, and this world is in a state of relaxation. Everybody's coming out now, you know, which at the same time, you know, it's, it's, it's more warmer. You saw those people is gonna be out there going to Miami and California and shit. You know, he's talking about a what? A, a, another wave, you know? At the same time, you got brothers channels being clipped left and right, all right? So, hey, judgment is coming. Uh, this is uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 2. For yourselves know perfect, verse 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Right, we know perfectly that the Lord cometh as a thief in the night. Why? Because we've been watching, we've been on our watch. You know, and you no know, going into the history of the Lord, grab uh, Psalms 9 and 16. Going into the history of the Lord, we know how you move, man. Right? You know, we could grab uh, Matthew 25. And, uh, uh, 24, 31. Uh, real quick, uh, verse 3. For when they shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Yeah. Because Noah, you know, he prophesied for many years, man. And best believe after a certain amount of time, you know, Jake was talking shit, generation after generation. You know, they was talking, you know, they was more and more private. You know that one of Peter's? He said, like, he's not part of the question. Peter 3 and 1. You got that Yeah, this is Matthew chapter 24, verse 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of Son of Man be. But as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Right, so at the height of danger is when the people of the world was, you know, and they're all in their folly, man. You know, and that's what's coming to, that's what it's coming to. You got your stimulus, all right? You know, these women, these chicks out here got six, seven kids. You, you got a damn fucking dog, you got a, hey, you got enough to buy a, a brand new car all right man 15 grand plus that's on top of your um you know your um your income tax you could probably get another 15 from that you know so i'll be flipping it up man well according to stimulus check um i think it's 1400 a person yeah so if you got like four or five kids you got you got some bread yeah a little bit of bread yeah they, 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 they going good uh, yeah, uh, uh, Second Ezra chapter 16 and, and 21. Behold, victuals shall be good cheap upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. So that's another thing that's happening. See, everything that's happening, you could you could uh, marry with the scriptures, man. You know, hey man, hey, hey, as the old saying goes, even a blind man can see what's going on. You know, because here it is, you go to the mall, you get you get like three pairs of sneakers for like 150 dollars, man. You know. That's, that's, you know, that's really how it is, man. You know, so things are so good cheap. You know, people getting all this money, all right? And things are so good cheap, they think they living it up. You can go to Miami and, you know, you can go to Miami, spend $100, $150 on a round trip ticket. And that's how you know that the people are asleep and they don't really know what's going on, man, okay? Because first of all, people need to ask themselves in their head, how is all this money being distributed, you know, to all these people, $1,400 each, and America is trillions of dollars in debt, you know? And they don't look at the, uh, the, the the state of the dollar itself, man. The only reason why this dollar has value is because the people have uh, uh, faith in it. But once that faith goes away, man, and, and, and once foreign nations end up going towards the, uh, away from the petrodollar, 
and towards the uh, Chinese yuan and other forms of currency is going to make the U.S. dollar uh, 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 sink like a rock, man. No. So I'm gonna keep reading. Hold on. They should think themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And great confusion. Now let's go back to Matthew, Matthew uh, 24. Uh, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 39. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Right? So as the days of old were, so, so are they now. All right? That's what you call precept upon precept, you know? And that's really how you're supposed to uh, preach the word. Okay? And how about Shimei Hashah is coming back? How do we know? We go into the scriptures. You know, we marry, you know, the, the word or what's going on today. It was morning. Uh, no, that's it. Yeah, Psalms 9 and 16. Uh, this is uh, Psalms chapter 9, verse 16. The Lord is known by, by the judgment which he executed. Right. The Lord is known by the judgment of which he executed, man. You know? And when you go, um, hey, the Lord is about to be known, man. Another another way we can see how the Lord is about to be known because his men, the prophets, you know, about to be persecuted. Some of us about to get spiritual powers. Then they're gonna ask, who did that miracle? And then that's when you go to like Acts 5, you know, that's when the apostles broke it down, like, you know, the Lord who you uh, crucified. You know, so it's about to be a hey, some great, as we always say, great, you know, and terrible times. Terrible for those who are living it up, and great for those who are looking for another world to come. Because we're looking for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to come and bring his place down, you know, for his wickedness. Okay? You got something? Else? Yeah, I got a piece of This is in the book of Revelations, chapter 7 and 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. All right, and that's beautiful because. As we go, you know, as the fluff news tell you, you know, that that uh, at this as this fluff news talks about your stimulus is coming, talks about you're able to, you know, gather more into, you know, bars and stuff like that. What's happening all across the world? All right, North Korea is, is, is ramping up their nuclear arsenal. All right, the um, BRICS nations and these, uh, you know, Turkey and these um, America's allies is, is gearing up to come up, with, you know, to go with America's enemies. So as you're living in um. As you feel like you're living in prosperity, these other nations want to bring hell upon this place. You know? And that stuff stay at the scriptures. It says, verse 2, And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. Right, so the ones you hate is the reason why, we're the reasons why the Lord um, hasn't, you know, really put his foot down upon his place, man. Because, you know, the elect gotta get sealed, but after that, all, all bets are off. It says, it says uh, verse four, and I heard the number of them which was sealed, and there was sealed. And there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. One hundred and forty-four thousand. So that's you know twelve thousand in each tribe as the brother goes down, which is of Israel. All right. Am I right? The uh, now I'll go to sealed. I believe that's the mark of exemption, right? The the, the law. Yeah. That's so the mark of exemption from the coming destruction is only for one hundred forty-four thousand Israelites. So how the hell they? Put all, all these other nations in there, man. Right. It shows you that they got it confused. Only the Israelites is gonna be sealed from this destruction to come, man. Not any, not any Edomites, man. So not everybody can be saved, man. And the one third is, you know, also Israelites as well. That's a part of the 144,000 ultimately. Right. Yeah. Uh, precept to prove that. Uh, Ezekiel chapter nine verse four. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. What's Ju Jerusalem synonymous with? The Israelites. You know, and and, and 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 Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. And where were the people? Where was Jeru Jerusalem? Uh, where does Jerusalem reside now? Throughout the four corners of the earth, where we were scattered. Okay. So it says, go through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark that the walk on the 
upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not, going right along with Revelation the seventh chapter. Uh, 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 go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. Okay, so yeah, just going on, backing up the precept that, that the brother brought out, man, you know? Yep, this is Isaiah chapter 26, verse 20. It says, come my people into thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Yeah, the cha chambers represent the chariots of the Lord. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. Because what the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the indignation we have to hide ourselves in the chariots of, of, of the Most High, Lord willing, we be the elect. Because what the indignation is going to be so terrible. You know, we're talking about thermonuclear destruction. All right, ICBM nuclear missiles and the angels and the chariots of the Lord. You know, so what we're talking about the earth reeling to and fro like a drunk, like a drunkard. Okay, so if you're not delivered in them chariots or you're not in one of those uh, uh, designated areas where uh, uh, Esau is hiding in his little, uh, in the other nations, in their little uh, doomsday bunkers, all right, you're, you're, you're going to be fooled for the fire, man. For behold, behold Yahweh coming out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. So, but, but the Lord loves everybody, you know? The Lord is coming back. And he's here to save everybody. But when you read scriptures like that, it doesn't go along with what you're saying, man. You know, that's where Isaiah 8 and 20 comes into play. Uh, 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 uh. He that speaketh not according to this word, he has no light in him, man. You guys don't have the light, man. You guys are being unrealistic and unreasonable about, about what the scriptures say, man. Namely, you Christians. You know, what you guys are rearing your ugly head again, trying to come back and make it a little comeback, man. Yo, yo, Christianity is dead, man. We ain't, living, we ain't living in fantasy world no more, man. We living in reality. Uh, just back in Revelation 7. Because you have those churches, they think. These Christianity churches, they think that. When the, when the Lord said in Revelation 7 and 9, after this I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the lamb clothed with white robes and and psalms in their hands. You know, they say that mixed multitude is um is uh, the other nations. No, that's that's of Israel, man. All right, you have one third, which we read the government body, which is the 12 tribes, excuse me, which is the 12,000 of each tribe, all right, which is men. Uh, Revelation 21 and 3, I believe it says, um, get, uh, the, uh, yeah, get it real quick. Got it up. Oh, and they got, just like, uh, in, uh, Romans, the, um, no, in Acts of Tim chapter, when, uh, the Apostle Peter said, it's not lawful for him to come unto one that's of another nation. When you go into that word nation, it really means tribe. Right. Yeah. You're not supposed to come into none none of the uh, uh, other tribes, and it's the same. The same word comes up in Revelation seven and nine, or uh, the Greek word ethos. And you can see it says probably from a race, as of a habit that is a tribe, specifically a foreign, uh, uh, non-Jewish one, usually by implication pagan. But really, really it means a uh, one that is a tribe. Okay, so really it's talking about the different tribes, man. Uh, this is uh, Revelation chapter 21 verse 3 And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying Behold the tabernacle of the Most High is with men And he dwelt and he dwell with them And they shall be his people And the Most High himself shall be with them And be their God yeah, So the tabernacle of the Lord is with men Okay, it starts with the men And Apostle Paul even went into that Or how he said that the head of the church is Yahweh Shai all right, and the head of the woman is the man. Okay, so there's an order. So when we read in Revelation 7, 
when it talks about the 12,000 of each tribe, that's men. All right, that's that body, that government body that is married to Yahweh Shai. But of course, there's an election of, of women and kids that come along with that. That multitude, man. Those are Israelites, man. Even if they do look like any other nation. Because guess what? Their spirit goes back to being an Israelite. See, the Heavenly Father is, is the highest, man. Okay? And he does things that man can't comprehend. But the Lord said he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, man. You know, uh, about the shot, uh, Zechariah 13, 8, and 9. You know, because this one third, the Lord speaks about how he's going to try them through the fire. All right, so you have women, you have children, that's a part of the elect, but it starts with the head of the house, which is that 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 prophet, that man of the Lord, okay? Uh, this is Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8, and it shall come to pass in the, all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Hey, that's the two thirds. That's the two-thirds club. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. All right? The Lord not having it. Matter of fact, uh, Baba Pashai, uh, can you grab um, Jeremiah 15 and 1? Yeah. Because uh, the Lord even told Moses and Samuel not to pray for these people. All right? There, there's a, a number of two-thirds of the Lord's people who he's not, he's not fine with, man. He's not pleased with. Excuse me. He's not pleased with. And every time they come back, they do wickedly, man. So he's going to destroy them on behalf of his elect's sake, all right, to get the kingdom right through Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 1. They say, if Yahweh unto me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. And he's talking about his own people. He's not talking about the other nations. Matter of fact, there's a precept where the Lord said, uh, we have never dealt with the other nations. It's Isaiah 40. Yeah, you get Isaiah 40, Psalm 47. Psalms 147, 19. The Lord never dealt with the other nations that Amos. Amos, three, three, and four. Yeah, yeah. Amos chapter 3, verse 2, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. See? Hear this word of the Lord. When the Lord has spoken to you, to you, O children of Israel, go ahead. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Exactly, the whole family, 12 tribes, man. When we came out of Egypt, all right, with Moses being our shepherd, guess what? All of Israel was delivered, man. Even the wicked two-thirds mm -hmm. that the Lord hated, man. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Woo, what that mean, man? that the Lord only dealt with the Israelites, man. You think the Lord don't know the other nations? He created them. Sure. He know who they are, he know what they do, all right? So, but the Lord said, you only have I known, meaning he's only been dealing with us. And through Moses, that's how we got the um, the verbal, well, no, excuse me, not verbal, the uh, the law uh, uh, written on stone, man. Because before that, it was verbal, man. You know, we knew it uh, verbally uh, from saying that right, so like, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. He says, therefore will I punish you for all of your iniquity. Um, I got one. Uh, this is a Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 8. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, he separated the sons of Adam. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. See, the Lord only dealt with the Israelites, man. All right, this is not... A black thing, man. This is an Israelite thing. This is awakening, awakening up back into your true inheritance of your nationality, man. Knowing who you truly are and worshiping the true and living power, man. You know. So when we read the scriptures, how is it that these churches they they, they can't understand that this Bible is only written for a particular people? Well, let's say the Lord is only for a particular people, because the Lord do pass judgment, man. All right. He tells the prophets to prophesy against the wicked societies, man. So the Lord is talking to everybody, but the Lord has only dealt with the Israelites. Clear as day, man. Matter of fact, you can type in the blue letter, the God of Israel, and I forgot how many times it come up. Because that's just, uh, it just shows you with that number that the Lord has always dealt with the Israelites from the Old Testament to the New, man. Well, you know, oh, so I, yeah. well, you know it's that term, cognitive dissonance. When you look that up, it's the state of having inconsistent thoughts 
beliefs or attitudes, especially as relating to behavioral decisions and attitude change. And he said inconsistent thoughts. Right, right. That's a demon. It, yes. Because because that's winnowing. You know, you go with this doctrine, then you go with this doctrine. Then you go and say, you know what? Nah, I like that doctrine. But what was it again? Uh, uh what was it? What was the definition? Uh inconsistent. In inconsistent, uh, what was it? Damn. I got you. <laughs> I'm looking something up. Uh, a state of having inconsistent thoughts. A state of having inconsistent thoughts, man. See, we know what we worship, man. And we're sure about what we worship through faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, which according to Ephesians, faith is a gift. So you can say that we got a gift. And that gift is to believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You got some more on that? Uh, it, was a, it, it was a inconsistent thoughts, beliefs, and faith. Oh, beliefs and faith, man. So, hey, cognitive distance. Uh, cognitive. I said cognitive dissonance. Positive, I can't say it. <laughs> but that, that's a demon, man. It's a demon, man. You know? Oh, man. But, um, who was he at? Um, I was going to bring out, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, right. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. It's like James 1 and 5. Uh, James, James 1, uh, 1 and 8. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways, man. That's that cognitive dissonance, mm. man. Hey, yeah, I just noticed two in the spirit. Well, you got Malachi 3 and 6, which is the book, the book of Malachi in most Bibles. You know, it's like the last book right before the New Testament. The Lord said what? For I am Yahweh, I change not. Ooh. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Hey, so we'll be consumed if the Heavenly Father changed. If he changed his mind of us, uh, of us not being his chosen, then we'll be consumed, man. That means Esau will have his way, you know? Yeah. And according to Scripture, the Lord said also, that he's bound by his word, man. So when he says something, all right, he hey, he lives up to it because he's a a, 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 a faithful uh, power and a righteous power. See, we could have faith in the Lord because he would never fail us, man. Scripture so say, when have the, the righteous been forsaken and begging bread, man? Never, never, man. And if he is begging for bread, it's probably because he's going, hey, well, let's say you got men out here that are Israelites that are begging for bread, it's because they're wicked, man. But when have the righteous been forsaken and baking bread. So do we have any worries when this shit fall down? No, man. That's why brothers got that spirit on them, feeling weak and trying to worry about this, and worry about that. Fuck all that, man. Straight up, man. Because the Lord got us, man. According to our lot that's given by him, wherever our lot is, whether we be beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shah, whether we live as a pilgrim, or uh, uh, traveling and, and, and looking for a uh, miracle, we all right, man. And if we die in the Lord, the prophet Paul said, that's great pain. And according to, oh, to, oh man, according to 1 Thessalonians, to bring that out. According to 1 Thessalonians, those who died in the Lord, they're going to be risen first. So they're going to be with Yahweh Shah first. Oh, that's true. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trunk of the Most High. And right. The, and, and it says with a shout, you know, going into that Revelation 11. <laughs> yeah. With how the Lord is going to actually hear a voice, man. We're going to actually hear that voice, man. Hey, a few years ago, uh, there was this um, uh, sort of supernatural sound going across the whole world. But people were hearing trumpets. They was hearing like some type of trumpet being blown. But they didn't know it was brother coming from a, a, a machine, the air, the ground. But it was a, 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 a nice tone of a trumpet being blown, man. You know? Possibly, hey, it could be, hey, the angel, man, blowing a trumpet, so to say. All right? But Esau could never explain that. And it was going on throughout every city and state, man. So it couldn't have been some type of machine in, in a particular uh, city. All right? It had to be something in the air, man, going worldwide, man. You know? You know before you have the grand show, you have little rehearsals. So, you know, you got the... You got the orchestra in the back, yeah. like this, like, like, like just testing it out before the show actually yeah. happens, man. Yeah. <laughs> it says for the Lord. Oh, but matter of fact, we don't know exactly what it is, but through our faith, the Lord said those signs in heaven. Yeah, it's a sign, man. Whatever what it is, it's a sign, man. You know? It says for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the most high. And the dead in Hamashiach, Yahushai, shall rise first. Hey, so the, the dead, those who died in the Lord, they're going to be risen first, man. Go ahead. It says, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. 
and that cloud represents the chariots, man. All right, which the world today called UFOs. You know, those those are our uh, delivering. Excuse me, those are that's our delivering vehicle, man. Whether the Lord bring that one big chariot or, or many chariots, we know that the Lord is coming with many chariots. You know? Scripture say in Revelation one seven. Uh, 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 every uh, damn. He comes with clouds. He comes with clouds, and every one shall see. Him. And every yeah, eye yeah, shall yeah. see. Him. Yeah. You know? uh, it says, "Then which, then which we are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord." See, and so shall we ever be with the Lord, because that's it. Paul said we're going to be changed, man. <laughs> oh, well, I'll pray I'll be the elect, man. Word. To be changed, man. To be married unto the Lord. Being that bride, man. <laughs> Meaning, look, we'll never be without the Lord. So guess what? We'll never uh, uh, have to worry about being hurt, man. All right? We're going to be good, man. Hey, the scriptures say our kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. All right? A world without end, man. I got a quick one. Oh, uh, Because we're worrying about how we don't got to worry uh during these times to come part of that is because of uh, wisdom of solomon chapter 5 verse 15 but the righteous live forevermore the reward also is with the lord and the care of them is with the most high so wisdom of solomon chapter 5 verse 15 but the righteous live forevermore the reward also is with the lord and the care of them is with the most high. Hey, so the righteous have a reward, man. Uh, I'm gonna shout. Somebody get wisdom of Solomon toward the uh, last few verses. Because Esau, his mind said, he think there is no reward for the uh, for the righteous, man. But the righteous have a reward. We're going to get a reward for putting in this work, man. You know, jokers that don't got faith, they think we stupid. Scriptures say we're fools for Yahweh Shah's sake, man. So I'd rather be a fool for Yahweh Shah then to be a, uh, 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 then to be a, a nuclear missile fool, man. Rather be a fool for Yahweh Shai than to be nuclear missile fool, man. Got some most right yeah. quick. 20, 20, 20. Go ahead, huh? So Proverbs 26 and 10. The great power that formed all things, both reward of the fool and reward of transgressors. So it's reward is coming either way. Yeah. Somebody's gonna get a reward either way. You either gonna get the reward of a fool or the reward of the righteous. Right. <laughs> hey, a reward for righteousness or a reward for wickedness. Either way, you reap what you sow. Right. What you put in is what you get out. That's what she's saying here in the world, guys. That's an athlete, you know, like Floyd, Floyd Mayweather. You say what? Hard work, dedication. Hard work, dedication. But that's, it works. That's true. The more hard work you put in, the more, uh, the uh, the more the benefits is going to come out of it, man. You know, that's why the scriptures say, uh, uh, wherever his treasures is, that's where his heart shall be also. You know. Yeah. Wisdom of Solomon, two and twenty. Let us condemn him with a shameful death. Yeah, because Esau want to condemn us and, and with a shameful death. He wants to make mockery for us. Well, excuse me, he wants to shame us for all of the talk that we speak, man. Because he's looking at us as a man. But not realizing the Lord has sent forth messages, all right, to speak the words of the Most High, to warn him before the great and dreadful day. See, but these, these people, all right, Esau, Start with these international bankers, they look at us just like men. And, you know, they, they they really want to do something about our mouths and how we speak, man. You know, because they know week in and week out they're being destroyed with this truth. Their lives are being cast down. They're hearing what brothers are saying about them, what brothers are going to do in the kingdom with them, and all. Hey, they they mad as hell, so they want to condemn us with a shameful death, man. Yeah, they make it like the brother said. They make it seem like what we're saying is wrong. As a matter of fact, the brother in um, Atlanta, he had the lesson on how now this devil was saying that, you know, be aware, because by before the, I, I guess, a second time, 
the so-called domestic terrorists are going to strike again a second time this year. You know, which obviously anybody who's seen it, who have eyes in their head, can see that was Esau Edom, man, the so-called white man. But again, you know, Esau with his fucking trickery is going to try to bring it, bring it around upon us. Yeah. It says, uh, such things they did imagine. Hey, such things they did imagine because they wicked. If you're a wicked man, you're going to imagine wicked thoughts, man. You know, you're going to take pleasure in those wicked thoughts. You're going to make those wicked thoughts manifest. But such things they did imagine. Go ahead. All right. Read back at 20. Let's get the words. It says, let us, con let us condemn him with a shameful death, for by his own saying, he shall be respected. See? So they want to prove prophecy. They want to provoke the Lord. Okay? They want to prove our faith, all right, by, by casting us into prison and then seeing what the Lord is going to do with us. Is the Lord going to defend us? Or are they going to have their way with us and do, the, and do, what, do as they please? So really, they're forcing the Lord's hand. Go ahead. Such things they did imagine and were deceived. Hey, they was deceived. The Lord said, uh, 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 the deceived and the deceiver is his. So the Lord was on both sides, man. <laughs> the deceived and the deceiver is the Lord, man. And guess what? You Edomites been deceived. You've been tricked by the Lord's prince, uh, angel on his left side, to tempt him in what you call Satan. He's tricking you to think that this beast system is actually going to be a, 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 a power, a system for another decade or two, man. Okay? Like this, the new dynasty, because you, 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 what they've done is a controlled demolition. All right? Uh, problem, reaction, solution. Pressure from above, pressure from below, man. Well, guess what? This is Bible prophecy. And, and the Lord has you in a trick bag, man. So go ahead. Hey, during the time of Moses, it was the same thing. To so where, um, you know, the Lord, he's playing oh. around with Pharaoh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He allowed Moses to do something, then he allowed Pharaoh's uh, magistrates to do the same thing, and it worked. It was like that for a little bit. But then it came, uh, it came a point in time to where Moses' power outweighed Pharaoh's power. Right. And that was done, like your brother said, that was done purposely. The Lord was playing, the Lord was toying with Pharaoh. So how much more you Edomites? All right, Paul went into you Edomites, man. All right, you're, you're the uh, sons of perdition. All right, that's gonna be revealed in his time. Your time is now. All right, they're issuing a new system, which we all gotta be a part of, unto a certain degree. All right, they're narrowing down. The Lord is narrowing down, man. As for the mysteries of God, they knew them not, neither hope they for the wages of righteousness. See? For the, for the righteousness of the Most High, they knew them not. All right? They don't expect the reward to come to the righteous. They think this is all bull crap, man. And eventually they're going to shut us up. See, we understand that you are going to shut us up because the Lord told us these things, man. That there's going to come a famine on this word. That's why they're clipping all our channels, man. I got one strike, man. One strike. Next day I woke up, the whole channel was gone. He saw him playing fit. What happened to the three strike out, man? I didn't get no email saying that there was a video, another video strike. Because normally they would do that. They'd strike you once, and then they end up striking you again. And then you know you out. You know like, oh, they about to click my shit. And then they would give you that strike. But then they'd email you and say, this video was strike. This video was strike. And now you just cancel. But they don't give no uh, explanation, man. Get a strike, start building on a new page, man. Or build on a new page before. Back up your videos, you know? Because once you get that first strike, it's a personal attack, man. That strike is, is the it's like a warning sign, man. Alright, that look, they're gonna take your page, man. Because with us, when we speak, we speak the words of the Lord, man. We're speaking throughout the scriptures. We're not coming out of our own mouth. We're not making things up. And when we read reports, we're reading what is publicly reported, man. So how is that medical misinformation, man? When you're just reading an article which was actually reported, man. First of all, first of two, whatever happened to what, whatever happened to whatever happened to freedom of speech, man. You know, that goes into that uh uh, uh woe, woe to him that the.
know, making up these new laws as they come along. Now just bring it out in front, bring it in close. Hmm. I was trying to do it to get both of y'all. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess you can, but like, yeah, I'm gonna just leave right here, it's all good. Okay, yeah, I'll uh, read this. Brother got a question. A brother got a question on the comment board. He asks, What is the importance of Esau's twin brotherhood to Isaac? So, what's the importance of Jacob? Well, Jacob is the kingdom, Jacob is the line that's chosen by the Lord. That's simple. You know? Is that sincere or is that some type of. Uh, is that a sincere question or is that a trick question to draw uh, 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 contention? You know? All right. Can you repeat it again? Yeah. He says, uh, what is the importance of Esau's twin brotherhood to Isaac? Well, you should know that if you ask him is that because when you go and read Genesis the 25th <laughs> chapter, okay, with uh, Rebecca, uh, prophecies was given to Rebecca by the Lord. Two nations in thy womb, one nation shall be stronger than the other. All right. The Lord told... Um, uh, 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 well, basically, in the blessing, there was a blessing. There was a birthright, and then there was a, a blessing at the end. That's common sense, man. Yeah. Hey, Jacob is the kingdom, and guess what? We come out of Jacob, so that means that we have the kingdom. You know? Hey, let me read this real quick. Genesis chapter 27, verse 33. And Isaac trembles very exceedingly and said, Who? After... Uh, where is he that have taken venison and brought it to me and I have eaten before thou camest and have blessed him and yea he shall be blessed and when Esau heard the words of his father when Esau heard the words of his father he cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry it says he cried with an exceeding bitter cry and said unto his father bless me even also my father and he said thy brother came with subtility and have taken away thy blessing it is what it is what now 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 we're gonna break it down watch this and he said is not he rightly named Jacob for he have supplanted me these two times he took away my birthright now first of all he lied right there because he sold his birthright that goes to show oh. you the devil lying to his pops right there in the first place. And behold, now he hath taken away my blessing, and he said, Hast thou not reserved the blessing for me? Here, 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 here's what Isaac's thoughts on, on, on the twins and, and the birthright in that situation. And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I, I have made him thy Lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants, and with corn and with wine, have I sustained him and what shall I do now unto thee my son so he was like yo that was the spirit you know basically that's what Isaac how, how Isaac who if, if you can receive it is your how was shy you know it was the spirit to give Jacob the birthright man you know and ultimately the prophecy of uh, uh, um, the, the, the the old the elder shall serve the younger, serve the younger. right and I got you right here this is um I'll get straight to the point this is Romans chapter 9 there we go and um, because all of this is good, I'll yeah. that one, yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. Just start at one because this is you know, understanding. So, it's like he said, he, he thought it was all metaphorical. Oh, no, 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 it's not metaphorical. Oh, no, 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 no. Because you talk about nations <laughs> of people, man. The yeah. nations of people are still here, right. you know. The Lord's chosen is still here, all right. Uh, who the world eagerly called Jesus Christ, he was a what Hebrew, all right. He was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. You know, the churches and Christianity, they state that the Israelites don't exist anymore. What are you talking about? No. These are people. All the people that the Lord created are still here. You know? And they all carry a seed. Yeah, everybody carries a seed. The, the, the seed of the lineage of, a, of a, a nation comes from the man. That's numbers. The first, what is it, the first chapter? One in all right. 18. I think it's 1 in 18. 1 in 18, the mm -hmm. pedigree of yeah, the pedigree. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know? Shalom to your brothers on the comment board as well. Hey, Shalom to your brothers. Uh, Romans 9 and 1. I say the truth in the Mashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing witness, uh, uh, excuse me, my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continued sorrow in my heart. Come down, right? Yeah, I'll just get to the point. Uh, this is uh, Romans 9 and, and 7. 
neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac shall thou seed be called. Right. And that's a big heavy separation right there because what? How many children did Abraham have? All right, he had eight, okay? One through um, uh, 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 Hagar, okay, which was Ishmael, and then one through Sarah, which was Isaac, and then the other remaining six children through Keturah, okay? But out of, but through Isaac was the seed called, and what? Isaac had two sons, Right. okay? Esau and Jacob, man. Let me read this real quick. Uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person, person. as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Now, 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 what did he say in Genesis 27 chapter? He was like, he stole my birthright. Right, right. But what does the scripture say? He sold his birthright. Mm -hmm. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, right. he was rejected. <laughs> so that's what that's what Isaac thought about the situation. Yo, right. the Lord must have not, you must not have been in the favor of the Lord, man. Well, well, Isaac was definitely a man of the Lord. Yeah. All right. And he know that according to the Heavenly Father, his will is going to be done. Right. All right. So why, you know, when you look at it, I'm jumping the gun. Look, okay, let's let's continue. Uh, verse, verse 7. Let's start at 6. Not as though the word of Yahweh have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all all children. But in Isaac shall thou see be called. Real quick, because uh, Christians get that uh, uh, look at not all Israel that are of Israel. Meaning what? You have Israelites, but then you have the election of the Israelites. Okay? So not all Israel is of Israel, meaning not all Israel is the elect. You know? Verse 8. That is they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of Yahweh, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Because remember, uh, Abraham had who? He had Ishmael. He had Isaac. All right? Ishmael was the first uh, born son to uh, Hagar, which was a slave woman. Okay? Uh, which was Sarah's, uh, uh, what you call it? Sarah's back, maybe. All right, but that's not where the blessing was going to go of the Lord's chosen line. He said into Isaac when Sarah was conceived the next following uh, year, according to that uh, that uh, 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 we, we were speaking to her with the angel. All right, and that's next following season of that time she was bare the seed, and the seed was, would be called Isaac. That's where the chosen line was going to go to, not Ishmael. So it says, uh, for this is the word of promise. Verse 8, that is, they which are the children of the flesh are not the children of Yahweh, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. For this is the word of promise, at this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children, being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of Yahweh, according to election, might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. So that just proves to you and tells you that it wasn't of Jacob and Esau's will. It was the will of the Heavenly Father. The Lord told Rebecca the prophecy of the two children that were warring in her stomach. All right, she told them, he told them the significance of one and, and the significance of another. He said, the elder shall serve the younger. And matter of fact, when you read that, uh, no, so I can think something else. Uh, verse, verse 12, I read 11 again. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of Yahweh, according to election, might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So Rebecca had a spirit on her. You know, when she did the whole thing and she put the, um, the, uh, the, the animal skin to make, right. him, to make him seem uh, uh, hairy and all that stuff. And, and, and Jacob was there like, you know, ain't I going to get in trouble for this? Right, right, my, right. My mom was like, look, if there's any uh, sin, let it be upon me. She right. was in the spirit, man. Right. right. And, and then, too, when you look at it, time went on. He, he His name, Israel, was, was turned, uh, Jacob's name was turned to Israel, which is Yasha Allah in the Hebrew. So was Isaac mad at Jacob? Did he curse Jacob? Did he 
sent a curse on Jacob for Jacob to plant Esau, the firstborn son of Isaac? No, man. No, because that was the will of the Lord. Matter of fact, Jacob, uh, he got that name, Yasha Allah, for wrestling the angel, man. So the Lord was dealing with him, man. The Lord sent the angel down to deal with him. And then uh, 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 Jacob, uh, he wrestled the angel, man. And the angel had to pop his hip out and show it for him to get loose. Yep. And they slocked it real quick. It's also important to be an Israelite because when you go into the book of Revelation about the city that's filled with gold, only only Israelites is going to be able to dwell there, man. You know, which is the kingdom. Not everybody's going to be able to walk through that city and enjoy it. Only the Israelites, you know, only the Israelites going to be able to ride up in the in the, in the chariots, which are the so-called UFOs. Only the Israelites going to be able to get beamed up in them, you know, ride in them and explore space, explore all the different you know galaxies in the universe it, only the israelites really going to be able to uh well the israelites is going to be able to do that man we we are the chosen people of the lord so that's why if your blood goes back to uh jacob you are a very you're a very important and blessed person man yeah even that's why we call salakia that's why we call the uh peculiar people right peculiar means that it's uh value property you know what i'm saying it's prized possession you know just yeah. a quick input yeah uh this is uh in the book of deuteronomy Seven and six, yeah. This is Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse six. For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy power. It says, Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right, now this is in the book of Deuteronomy, man. So did the Lord uh, come down and, 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 and destroy Jacob? No, he blessed Jacob's seed, man. And even from then on, even uh, Yahweh Shai, who the world English called Jesus Christ, he didn't get mad at the, the situation with Jacob and Esau. He didn't complain. He was of the tribe of Judah. He come from that line. All right? And matter of fact, because uh, Yahweh Shai, he actually died for the Israelites, man. In particular, the elect. This is uh, Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. It says, And she shall bring forth a son, and that which Mary, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. All right, so Yahweh Shai was going to be that lamb that was going to give up his life, all right, in order to save the Israelites, man, starting with the elect, to bring them back into the Most High, man, to break, you know, we went off from breaking the Lord's law, so the have the Father's anger. So he sent forth his only begotten son, which is Yahweh Shai, which is really, he's the first spirit created. Okay, he came down and died for the Israelites, starting with the elect. Got to say that, man. Have to say that because there's a distinguish between the two, man. Uh, priest, uh, scripture come in mind. Um, the, the the portion of Jacob is not like them. That portion of Jacob that's not like the rest of Jacob is the elect. That's a different breed, man. You know, matter of fact, the Lord said that's that cluster of great he kept yeah. to himself of of great people. You know. That, um, that Genesis 20, uh, 27, I started at 32. And Isaac, his brother, said unto him, Who art thou? And he said, I am thy son, thy firstborn Esau. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly and said, Who? Where is he that hath taken venison and brought it me? And I have taken, and I have eaten of it before thou camest and have blessed him. And yea, he shall be blessed. You know, so that was it, man. You know, at like the same time, um, who was that Jacob when Jacob was uh you know about to go up into the spiritual realm or whatever and uh he told Joseph to bring his sons and you know Joseph thought you know that uh Jacob had made a mistake when he put his right hand upon um Ephraim oh, right. he's like no that's you know this this what is going to be like this yeah mm -hmm. yeah not only the Israelites is going to be having like thousands of uh of uh servants man you know and so forth like that as well yeah I got some this is um Matthew chapter 10, verse 5. It says, These twelve Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the ways of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans, into ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven 
is at hand. All right. So, hey, even the disciples, when they were sent out, it wasn't to go into the land of the Samaritans, man. All right. Where the Hamites were at. They were to go to the lost sheep and tell them to repent, man. All right. Got some real quick. This is uh, Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 18, verse 5. Who shall number the strength of his majesty, and who shall also tell out his mercies? As for the wondrous works of the Lord, there may nothing be taken from them, neither may anything be put unto them, neither can the ground of them be found out. You know, so even though it may seem like, you know, with the, with the purpose of Esau, but well, the Lord always, you know, the Lord had a grand plan. You know, and then you think about it with your house shot, in order for us to have a savior, we had to have we have to have gone through some hell to be saved from. Right. You know? Yeah, it's say we are yet this day in our captivity. Uh, I want to go back oh. to me. I want to bring this out. Because um, when the brother brought out uh, Revelation 7 and 9, you know, going back into that multitude of every kinsman and tongue, um, I wonder, uh, the, the scripture that should come to mind is Acts, the second chapter, and the fifth verse. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews devout men out of every nation under heaven, man, you know? And that's that one thing that we gotta keep pushing. That's how we know that this truth is a gift, man. It's the, the, the gift of faith, the gift, the gift of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, because it's really easy and plain to understand. And when you watch Jake, especially two thirds of our people, people are into Christianity, and um, they, they go against what's clearly written in the Bible, you know, according to Isaiah, you probably bring that out, Isaiah uh, 6 and 9? Yeah, Isaiah, Isaiah 6 and 9, you know? That the Lord uh, bl literally blocked these people from having an understanding, because if they, if, 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 you know, if they had, if they were in their right mind to understand and listen, man, they would get it. But the Lord don't want them to get it. Isaiah six and nine. Damn. It says, and He said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. And what was that? And white man can't jump. Like you can, you can, you can listen to Jimmy. But you can't hear Jimmy, you know? Like you can, you can listen, you can hear what we're saying, and you can even agree. You can be like, man, I like what y'all talking about. But I don't like the delivery. I don't like this, I don't like that. Therefore, it's not the truth, you know? So you hear it, but you'll understand not. Hey, what, Mo, uh, yeah, how you just said, uh, 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 like the movie, uh, uh the white man can't they can't hear Jimmy? Yeah, yeah. What well, the scriptures say, if he that got ears to hear, let him hear. Let him hear, you yeah. know, which is understanding. Understand it. The, if you can't hear Jimmy, mean you can't understand this vibration. You can't understand this flow. You know, you can't understand this. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, somebody, somebody that has, somebody that doesn't have ears will be like, but I have ears. Right, right. You know, they don't yeah, get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like Nicodemus. Remember Nicodemus? Yeah. Can a man be born like, again? Can I be born again? What do I have to do? I gotta, I gotta crawl back up there, man. What are you talking about? You know, when you, you know that, that goes to show that you weren't in that spirit. And and Nicodemus was the ruler of the Jews. Yeah. He, he knew the scriptures inside and out, man. Nobody, you know, knew the scriptures better than, than Nicodemus, but he didn't have the spirit. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between knowing the, uh, knowledge and and, and 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 having wisdom and, and having the spirit with you, man. You know. Well, like when Howard Shaw said, "Eat of my body." Right. 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 Uh, right. That 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 jacked a lot of people up, man. Hey, when um when um when uh when the apostle Car said, "Hey, yeah, cars have spirits." You right. Know? Right. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Yeah, you don't right. understand the elements, man. Manipulation of the elements. How you think? How you think Moses was able to cast down a stick and it turned down in, in, into a snake, man? You know, because what the Lord, nothing is impossible when it comes to the Lord, man. Right. Yeah. Hey, uh, scripture say a spiritual man judge of all things. That's it. And and uh, everything, even this pole here in metal or whatever that is, that that has life. Every element has life, whether it moves or not, whether it talks, whether it grows, whether it just stated. It's life. A rock itself has life. It has a spirit. It may not be, it's not a man's spirit, a spirit that goes back and forth to the heaven and to the ground, but it's life. You know? Um, spiritual powers. You see it on the left hand side because you got magicians that, that uh, perform witchcraft and uh, uh, black magic. They can actually take, uh, they can take this water bottle and because it's an element, they can transform this element into a, a, a piece of bread. And they could do that because it's through spiritual powers on the left-hand side, all right? Wicked powers. And it's, they could do it because it's an actual element, man. All you're doing is manipulating the element, man. The Lord could do that. Maybe the Lord with Moses to make the, the tree on fire to talk. 
where he was talking through the tree that was on fire. He made a donkey talk. He made a donkey talk. Yeah. You know? So in the kingdom, we're going to have spiritual powers where we're going to be able to do those things. We're going to be able to manipulate the elements, man. Matter of fact, the chariots, they uh, dematerialize and materialize. They could be here, do, do, you know? Mm -hmm. You saw know that when you watched that movie Lucy, I think only when she had like 20% of her brain, she was able to like manipulate her hand and shit like that. Yeah. So it's really nothing. The Lord's got to turn our brains up. Yeah, Lucy is uh, symbolic for Esau's wicked powers, man, to rule the world. Because remember, when she became everything, she didn't exist. Because she exists. Yeah. She started to be everything, everywhere. That's you know, that's yeah. close on, man. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, he yeah. showed you that on the phone. She was like, he was like, I wonder where she is. And he she popped up on the phone and shit. Everywhere. Some shit like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, that's Esau, man. Esau once and then he made it into a woman. Yeah. Uh, and that's why brothers wear That's why brothers wear they stones too, because they the stones carry spirits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, the the got the tiger's yeah. eye, Jasper, all of that, yeah. man. Right. That's, that's in uh, Genesis 2 and 7 where it says, um, I have, you know, you have four men from the dust of the ground. When you think about stones, you think about, um, you know, minerals, which is in our body, because it comes from the dust of the ground. Right. So, you know, and I got, and so, and so, so the elements that make these poles and, and yeah. concrete, it all comes from the ground. In our brain, it, it, what, what makes our brain function is actual little gold and silver. Yeah. And, 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 and you know, there's actual gold in our brains. Right. You know what I mean? We're made from the dust of the earth. Right. Hey, also, uh, this is sungite. A sun guy stone. This is actually a live, a live rock. All right. If you put um, what you call that? You know, you know, you know, uh, when you put the uh, the, what's the, 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 the what you call that? The testicle? Yeah. yeah. I forgot what you call it exactly, but you can actually hook up Esau's technology and actually get a reading from this rock because it's lively. Yeah, you can get a frequency from this rock. Con. And you'll think this, this is nothing. You'll kick it, throw it, but this has life, right. man. Um, yeah. Yep. It actually protects you from radiation, man. Yep. Hey, the brother, uh, I was watching the brother in Mississippi. Elders of Hope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the brother had the, uh... Selenite. Yeah, the purple one, right? Oh, the purple one? What's the purple joint called? The, the, the am no. Amethyst? Amethyst. 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 Yeah, Amethyst. yeah, the brother was going into it. He said the Amethyst, uh, uh, uh... Well, so was you up, man. You mm. gotta get some. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to find some real amethyst ever since ever since I saw his video. And the, and the selenite is heavy because it it, it charges it helps charges your other stones. Yeah, he said when you when you uh when you drinking you put the amethyst stone on it's supposed to uh take away the toxin from the liquor. So was you up, man. Really? I want to try that. <laughs> Word. I got the big one at home. Probably gonna try at that. Home. Yeah. See? <laughs> um, hey, this is uh Ecclesiasticus chapter thirty nine. Verses 21, um, this is the scripture elders I brought out as well. It says, a man need not to say, what is this? Wherefore is that? We have made all things for their uses. So even the stones have what their, their uses that you're rocking them for. Yeah, with the sun guy stones, you can buy them in chips. You can buy these stones in chips and it actually uh, cleanse your water. You know, certain, these, these rocks, you put them in, you put like these chips, rocks of sun guy, into your into your glass of water, leave it there for a couple hours, and you're gonna start seeing the uh, the filth of the water uh, dissolve away. It cleans your water, man. You know mm. that's that's dope, man. That's how you know the Most High exists, man. Another thing that that, that come to mind because it tripped me out when I first uh, noticed it was that you have seeds, you have the body of the sea water, and it goes and leaks into river water. But when I was a when I was a child, I always was like, well, how is that possible? Because when they were explaining to me that uh, river water is fresh and seawater is salt, and, I, and then I noticed that the seas, some of the seas go into the river water. It's connected. So in my mind, I was saying, the, how that's fresh water? But the but then I saw a video. Yeah, I, I saw a video where Esau on the Discovery Channel. This is years ago, and it was explaining how the split between the salt and the water when it connects the um, the salt water fish, he can't live in freshwater fish. Even the freshwater can't live in the salt, you know, vice versa. Right. So what happens is when the freshwater goes into that boundary of salt, he can only survive for so long, but he gotta come back. And the opposite with the salt water fish. He gotta go, he goes into the fresh, but he gotta go back. So I was like, it's an invisible shield here that the Lord makes this fresh and makes this salt because why doesn't the body of the sea doesn't engulf the river? Right. It's all, yeah. it's way more of this water. That's crazy. You know, that's how about Shemiah was shy, man. That's, that's 
it's kind of like what you had brought out about uh, Revelation 7 and like a, you know, kind of a metaphorical sense about how the angels hold them back to destruction. Oh, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like, it's like how's yeah. all this shit happening, but nobody's, you know, nobody's really you know, throwing hands, right. so to speak. Right. Yeah. And that's why the most high hates Esau because he can never get a most high's credit. Yeah. But trying going well because of this and that. Like like talking about the Big Bang Theory, man. Like Dallas like the Elves in Dallas said, now it's not even theory, they just call it the Big Bang. Wow. It's no longer theory, it's facts they say. This is Proverbs 8 and 8. All the words of our mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understandeth, and right to them that find knowledge. Yeah, so it's all plain to them that understand, man. Mm. You know, like, we're uh. really, uh, 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 you know, <laughs> brothers joke about it off, off topic, you know, off, 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 off the camera all the time. It's like, yo, how do these people get this shit, man? It's easy. You know what I mean? But that, but we know because that's, you know, going back to Isaiah 6 chapter, man, the Lord opened up the, uh, opens up and closes up your understanding, man. So if you know this truth, be thankful. All praises to you, how about Shimmy Shai, man? Because like that, at a snap of his fingers, man, he could, he, he could have you out here wilding like the rest of these niggas, man. Yeah. Even Solomon, he said, um, you know, like the wisdom, let me just try to grab it. Finish up that. Oh, sorry. In Solomon chapter nine, Verse uh, 16, how hardly do we guess right at the things that are upon earth, and with labor do we find the things that, that are before us? But the things that are in heaven, who have searched it out, and thy counsels, who have known, except thou givest wisdom, and send thy Holy Spirit from above. But so the ways of them which live on the earth were formed, and men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee, and were saved through wisdom. You know, so it's all the Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah that you actually understand what's actually in front of you, man. That's why you can't really get prideful. Word. Well, you can't get prideful, right? Not even really. You can't get prideful at all. Mm -hmm. Hey, because remember some of them said, let the blood be upon us and our children. So the Lord held them to that, man. Some of them, think, some of them is being blocked right now from ever coming to the truth. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's true. Hey, because you are your foreparent, you, you are your forefather. That's right. You know, and and, and and with that very, that's why that's why Christians want to get away from that understanding altogether. Because what reincarnation, the, um, the very thought of it, uh, bears responsibility, man. You know, it puts responsibility on what you did on your past life, and especially Esau and two thirds of our people. I don't want nothing to do with reincarnation because that shows a bloody history, a shameful history. You know? right. Isaiah chapter six. Verse 6. <clears throat> 6 and 9, it's lucky. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Mm -hmm. Make the hearts of this people flat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert, and be healed. And the mm -hmm. heart is the mind. You know? So let's they let's they hear with their let's let's they hear, let's they see, and let's they understand and, and convert and be healed. So what? The Lord made them fat and made their ears made their eyes fat and their ears heavy on purpose so that they do not convert and be healed. See that? You 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 couldn't you couldn't two thirds of our people who the Lord wants to be killed and destroyed. You couldn't you, you couldn't turn to the Lord if you wanted to. You you can't choose the Lord, Christians. The Lord chooses you, man. It's Isaiah chapter 28 and verse uh, I start at 10. For precept must be upon precept, mm -hmm. precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. And, and you know, people make fun of us and call that Hebrew hopscotch. You know what I'm saying? But that's what the scriptures tell us to do. That's how you read and understand the Bible. In Psalms 119, all right, in 104, I believe it is, it says, through thy precepts, I get understanding. You know? Right. Hey, hypocrites, man, because then how did they learn any of the word? Right. You have to have precepts. Exactly. That's how you get understanding. And then you say, hey, well, what does that scripture mean? Right. And if it doesn't mean to, to, to jump to another scripture and then jump to another scripture to make a picture, then what does it mean? Exactly. No? <laughs> it says, uh, verse 11, For stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people, 
to whom he said, this is the rest wherewith he may cause the weary to rest, and this is the refreshing, yet they were not here. Yet they were not here. But the word of Yahweh was unto them precept upon precept, the precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, and there a little and there a little, that they might go and fall backwards and be broken and snared and taken. Why? Because the truth cuts the hell out of them. And really, a lot of them are just jealous. You know, when you go around and they put it on the internet and they look up, you know, they, they listen to the videos of apostles, the elders, you know, on down, and they just listen and they're like, man. I wish I knew the Bible like that. So what they get, they get, they get upset, man. You know, and then plus we mentioned the cognitive dissidents. All the scriptures that we're bringing out is just completely. What's that scripture? Uh, um, our weapons of warfare are not carnal, but mighty. Oh, yeah, 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 ten and four. You know, we're 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 casting down the imaginations and we're breaking down the strongholds of their mind. Right, Christianity, right. feminism, you know, everything that they were brought up in this in this world, we're crashing it down through the scriptures, man. And they and and, and they and, and that's why they hate us, man. And hey, that has to happen in order for repentance, man. Because the scriptures say uh, the washing of the uh, renewing of the mind and the washing of the word. Yeah. So in order to renew your mind. The Lord has to break the strongholds that you was taught in this wicked, sacred society. You know? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's say you want to build a new building. There's a building right over there, right? If you want to build a new building, what do you have to do first? You have to tear the old one down first, right. man. Yeah. You can't build a building on top of another building. There's right. no foundation, man. Right. You got to tear it all the way down to the foundation and start all over again, man. If I'm not mistaken, I remember reading this a while ago. I forgot. I know it's in the Old Testament where basically uh, they were saying, and uh, when a new king came in, they would have to destroy what the wicked king, because you know how it was going into him. It was going into how the uh, uh, certain wicked kings of Israel were wicked, and they only ruled for so long. But I, it was something I was reading, I can't remember, I gotta look it up, but I remember it was saying, uh, you have to break down and then build back up. You know, you can't, you know, here it is, a wicked uh, king in Israel, and he did the Lord take him out, and he built the statue. You gotta tear that shit down, man. You know, you don't remodel it, put your name on it. No, you tear that shit down and you create new, man. Yeah, it is even um before even like after you break it down, you gotta survey the land. You can't just like go right back and build on it because the land can be contaminated. You know, and going into the scriptures, how I said precept upon precept, meaning like if you go you start a new testament, you already fucked. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? You start from the very like like scripture say, waiting from the milk. Yeah, I'm thinking, when you're speaking, I'm thinking of the uh, the land sapper. You know, Esau, he drains the earth by constantly taking from it. And now he wants to, you know, make genetically modified organisms. And there's supposed to be a land sapper. Even land itself is only could be, uh, 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 what you call it, right, you know, for a certain amount of years. And I think after seven years, you have to what? Let it, yeah. you have to uh, leave it alone for seven years. If I'm not mistaken, you know, it's called the land sack, man. You know? I think it's like a four year. Well, four year, yeah. And and uh, I think you was bringing it out, but uh, uh, how Gag, the apostles brought it out too. You know how basically Gag, uh, they was actually doing that. Yeah. Gag would hunt with the buffalo, and then they would leave from the buffalo for a while, and, and the seasons changed, they'd go hunt something else to let the buffalo get back, um, uh, have uh, you know, his calves, and have you know, have life again. And that, that's the way you got to do it, man. You know? Hey, because of uh, Texas, that situation in Texas with the oil and the oil prices going up, I know in Pennsylvania now they want to start fracking more out there. So other states are going to start fracking more since oil is going up. So that's more what? Work in the United States even more now. You know what I'm saying? So shit crazy, man. Yeah, I got a quick precept. This is Isaiah chapter 24 and 5. The earth also is the foul under the inhabitants, under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinances, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore, have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. Yeah, so everything that's written in this Bible has a purpose, you know. People look at the Bible and they're like, and they look at the law, and commandments. That's why everybody says it, it's all done away with because they think it's just words written on the paper, man. Every law in the Bible has a, a, a specific intent and purpose, man. No? I got some precepts. Oh, okay. I was going to bring, uh, actually, I'll bring up every now. Yeah. Hosea chapter 4, 
verse 3. It says, Therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that the wealth they in shall languish with the peace. <laughs> in the air, fluoride in the water, all, all kinds of pollution in the water, plastics, and all these things, and just transgression in the law in general, you know, you're not only affecting yourself, you're affecting the entire planet and the ecosystem, man. That's why when the scriptures say, that's why the scriptures say, if the Lord doesn't hasten his coming, there'll be no one left to save, man. Flesh be saved. No flesh will be saved, you know, under this devil's rulership, man, because he's running this place straight to the, he, he, the Lord gave him a Ferrari, and he's treating it like a lawnmower, man, you know? Hey, hey, uh, we're in the B system, man. And uh, you can see it. If you can't see it back then, you gotta see it now, man. Unless the Lord's just not dealing with you because uh, I ain't gonna say too much. You know? <laughs> can't say nothing. Yeah, man. Can't say nothing. No, 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 no. Uh, see, see. say too much but brothers should know you know because brothers supposed to be watchmen you have um you know your uh your your, uh, your p man you got your pad your p your pass now man and that has a barcode on it so now that's basically your registered identity man so so how much more when this chip this microchip get pushed you know once to get used to doing that going into these different places and registering your uh barcode whether you got it on the phone whether you got it on your card well, that, that number becomes your uh, your identity, man. Right. So now it's nothing for them to implant or, you know, force that corrupts, you know, which is the root word of corrupt, you know, which is the microchip, fulfilling the prophecy of Revelations 13, 16 and down, the mark of the beast. Yeah, and uh, speaking of the UPC code, we're, we're obviously going to read the scripture, but I'm going to jump down and we're going to jump back up. Revelation chapter 13, verse 18, it says, here is wisdom, let him have understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and six I'll never forget this when we went up to the to the brothers over there that stands for uh, George Joseph Laurel <laughs> 666 is, is his initial is his, is his, is his name in, in total and he was the uh, uh, he worked for IBM and he created the universal uh, 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 the universal product code which you put in everything, everything that you buy has a universal product code, you know, for the most part, when you get except for like a, a, a lemon or some shit, but they'll put it in a, in a, in a, in a bag that has a universal barcode, yeah, right barcode. there, yeah, the barcode. barcode. Yeah, so barcode. with these P, with these P's that the brothers mentioned it, this whole thing with the, with the, with the, um, with the beast and the chip and everything is take, is transitioning that universal product code from produce that you have in a supermarket and making you the produce. So that you have a universal product code because you are now cattle to the rich leaks. Right. Hey, that's why uh, uh, Mr. 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 Fix, man, whatever you call him, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, him and uh, uh, Dr. Fawcett, you know, they, they, you know, their words, their, their, their words were, uh, 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 their words were he was using while he was speaking uh, about this thing that's going on was uh, heard. You know what, you know, yeah, yeah. heard, you know what, and they was calling basically everybody uh, sheep, man, right, you know, man. like your cattle, man. That's how the elites think of you, as sheep. You're not people, you're sheep, you're cattle, man, and they can do whatever they want to their cattle, man, you know. Hey, so, that's... hey, real quick, so when you look at it, say you on a farm and you see your sheep out there, you look at them like they're little dumb creatures. You know they're not super dumb, but you know they're not up to up to par with you. So you could do whatever you want with them out there. You could take them and cut them, eat them, you know, cook them, you know. So that's how they treat people, man. Hey, hey, hey you know how we know that that's true because we look down on two on two thirds of our people like a bunch of sheep on cattle, man. You know, I was telling this brother before, man. We look at these cats and a bunch of walking dead bodies, man. Zombies, yeah, man. congregation of the day. You know, just 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 sucking up everybody else's air, man. 
Like, like the brother said, they do got a point because look at them. Look at them. Everybody follows each other. It's, that's why you have you got something called trending. Tr uh, trendy. Yeah, what's trendy? Trendy, man. There's always a button you could press on social media to see what's trendy, man. And they control the trendy, man. All right, they let they they know what they want to be trendy. That's why all that trendy shit is folly, man. It ain't never nothing informational and beneficial for your soul, body, and spirit, man. Yeah. You know, it's all something for you to laugh and be in pleasure. You know. Or to be dumbed down because that's really what it is. See, the more you're around people that are dumbed down, you're gonna be dumbed down. The more you're around people with intelligence and, uh, and wisdom, you're gonna be more intelligent and having wisdom, man. Right. But it, they, they call that, um, even in ancient room, they call that uh, bread and circuses, man. Mm. Like, um, hey, through the spirit, the more things, you know, the more you're having pleasure in this world, best believe the more Esau is throwing a lot of wickedness behind doors, man. Yeah. Precept for y'all, brothers. Please ask these 10 and 6. Oh, calm. Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. Why the rich? The rich are the Israelites. Okay, and we sit in a low place. Why? Because we went against our power. You know, you go to Baruch, the fourth chapter. That's good. You know what I mean? And, and, and it wasn't. And it wasn't because the Lord wanted to do away with us. We're the, we're the Lord's chosen people, man. It's, 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 it's all a life lesson. You know, matter of fact, we right. couldn't, matter of fact, it was all of the Lord's will. We were talking about how, we were talking about Esau, uh, Jacob and Esau, about how, you know, uh, him supplanting Esau was all through the spirit. Well, us going off on the law section of the commandments was all the spirit of the Lord, man. You know, we, we, we actually, uh, to prove that, let me get Deuteronomy chapter 30 and 1, and let me get, um, uh, let me get uh, Romans 8 and 20 real quick. Let me just prove that. You know, because when the Apostle of Elder Tahar, Tahar says that, you know, people are bugging out. What do you mean? What do you, uh, what do you mean? The Lord made made us go off on purpose? Well, He did, according to the Scripture. So, and, and and people will say that Deuteronomy isn't a prophet prophetic book. Remember that? That was like last yeah. year. Go ahead. Deut Deuteronomy. It's done away with. Yeah. Deuteronomy thirty and one. And it shall come to pass, come to pass meaning what? Prophecy, right? right? When all these things are come upon thee, mm -hmm. the blessing and the curse. Ooh, when all these, and it shall come to pass. Let's read it again slow. One, read it again. And it shall come to pass mm -hmm. when all these things mm -hmm. are come upon thee, mm -hmm. the blessing and the curse. The blessing and the curse. Right. It was prophesied that we were going to go off in the first place. We were right. going to experience the blessings. And we're going to experience the curses. Where, where do we experience the blessings? In the, in, in the rulership of King Solomon. Okay? Where he was ruling over the land of Israel. There was peace because they, uh, King David paved the way. And there was 40 years of peace. We experienced the blessings. But then it was written that we would experience the curses. Now can you bring out uh, Corinthians? I mean not Corinthians. Romans 8 and 20? Yeah. Uh, this is Romans chapter 8 verse 20. For the creature was made subject to vanity. Okay, so the creature being made subject unto vanity, are we not creatures? You know, when the Lord created all the creatures of the earth, those included human beings, man. We're creatures, okay? It was then after when the Lord chose and plucked up Adam, okay, and gave him the breath, meaning the understanding and the truth, okay? But there was there were people dwelling on the earth because we're all living creatures, so read it again. It says, for the creature was made subject to vanity. Okay, so the creature was made subject unto vanity. You know what vanity is? Emptiness, you know, all for naught. Go ahead. It says, for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly. Not but, willingly, go ahead. But by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope. Right, so we went and, so we were, the creature was made subject unto vanity, not willingly, meaning there was nothing that we could have done, you know? Yep. It was all caused by the Heavenly Father so that what? We could be brought back and then have hope in our Lord and, and ultimately uh, 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 get to know knowledge, get to know wickedness as well as righteousness and be that much more of righteous rulers, you know? Because hey, when the Lord comes back, all right, the Israelites are, are gonna be ruling the earth forever, forever and ever and ever, man. You know, that's going to be the last kingdom on the earth, so we got to get it right. So the Lord is grooming us for that moment. You know? That's the point on that. So whatever. Yeah, I was looking for both the songs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
Hey, real quick, I'll read the English. Uh, Romans 8 and 20, the NIV, says, For the creation was subjected to frustration, not by his own choice, but by the will of the one who subjected it in hope. So it wasn't our choice. So hey, when 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 you know people ask, you know, do you have a choice and you don't believe in in, uh, in fate and things like that? Well, you don't understand the Bible, man. We don't have a choice. Okay, man's goings are of the Lord. How then can a man understand his own way? You know, and and and, and, and as far as uh, World War Three and conflict around the earth and what what you believe and this that the third is going to happen, this all up to the heavenly Father. Okay, because what the scriptures say, a king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. So you know. Uh, what the president of the United States he has he has the codes to the nuclear bombs, but guess what? Uh, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has the codes to that Edomite holding the bombs. So you know it's all up to the heavenly Father. Yeah. That's why, I like, um, that's why um that dude Judge Mathis man is my favorite favorite judge to watch. Now I used to watch him a lot, which he knows he's an Israelite. I remember he said that. But then uh, cause he. You know, he said he's from the streets of Detroit or whatever. And he said, I think, I think, yeah, roughly, I think uh, he said he used to do drugs or whatever himself. He used to be a street nigga. So he knows that side. And now he knows Esau's laws. So now when somebody try and come up and make him look stupid, he's like, man, I already, I know your type. I was your type, man. Why? Because he knows both sides. Yeah, you can't bullshit a man like that, man. Yeah, and I remember Apostle Ron Lodge said that, you know, you'd rather have a guy that knows both sides. That's what um, Satan said to um, Eve. He said, you know, this is spirit, man. Yep. He said, um, you know, uh, you should, God know that if you eat this apple, you should be as God's known good and evil. You know, so when we come back, we are going to be as God. So I'm taking two or six. Right. Yeah, real quick, just to tap back what you're saying, yeah. uh, how Israel is going to go off. Right. But the Lord knew that, right? Now, this was the Lord, Lord speaking to Moses. This is Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse 16. It's, it says, and Yahweh, and Yahweh said unto Moses, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, and this people will rise up and go a whoring after the gods of the strangers of the land. Whether they go to be among them, I will forsake Whether they go to be among them and will forsake me and break my covenant which I have made with them, then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, and I will forsake them. And I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured, and many people that love them. And many evils and troubles shall befall them, so that they will say in that day, Are not these evils come upon us, because our power is not among us? I will surely hide my face in that day for all the evils which they have, which they shall have wrought, and that they are turned unto other gods. Right. Now therefore write ye this song for you and teach it to the children of Israel, put it in their mouths, that this song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. For when I shall have brought them into the land which I swear unto their fathers, that floweth that flow with milk and honey, and they shall have eaten and filled themselves and waxen fat, then will I turn unto other, then will they turn unto other gods and serve them and provoke me and break my covenant. And it shall come to pass when many evils and troubles are befallen them, that this song shall testify against them as a witness. For it shall not be forgotten out of the mouth of their seed. For I know their imaginations which they go about even now, before I have brought them into the land I which I home. swear. So you knew. I was you called it from the jump, man. You know? And that goes to show too that the that the Lord that the Lord deals with nations as a whole and not individuals. Because what, do you think for a second that every single last Israelite was wicked? You know? You had men of the Lord, you had we was, we was all back in those days too, man. You know, we had to go we had to go to captivity right along with them wicked gigs, you know? So like, so it kills me when you have Edomites uh, uh, not being able to take it on the chin, man. Because what? Not everybody in Israel was wicked, but we as a nation had to go into captivity as a whole. So what? So 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 now. You know they do all things that are 
right that are so-called righteous or whatever in this world, you know, when you hear this judgment and you're like, what do you mean I have to go into slavery? You know, I'm not this, that, and the third world. You know, not all of Israel was wicked, but they went into slavery. This is Baruch chapter 4 and verse 6. He was sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because he moved Yahweh to wrath. He was delivered unto the enemy, for he provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to the Most High. He had forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and he had grieved Jerusalem that thirsty. For when they shall, for when they, for when she saw the wrath of Yahweh coming upon you, she said, "Hearken, O ye that dwell about Zion, the Most High hath brought upon me great mourning." For I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting brought upon them. With joy did I nourish them, but sent them away with weeping and mourning. Let no man rejoice over me, a widow, and forsaken of many, who for the sins of my children am left desolate, because they departed from the law of Yahweh. They knew not his statutes, nor walked in his ways of his commandments. And we know now that uh, following the law doesn't justify yourself, doesn't guarantee your salvation. But I mean, considering that that's the reason that we were put into captivity in the first place, yeah. wouldn't you at least want to try? Right. You know what I mean? It's not a, it's not a C minus or a C plus better better than an F. Right. You know? <laughs> well, well, according to the first verse here in Baruch 4 and 1. Yeah, I was about to say that. Yeah. So that was, yeah. It says, this is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law that endure forever. forever. Ooh, the law that endure forever. You know? Come on. So what? It wasn't it wasn't done away with, man. You know? It, 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 it's a uh, uh, it was it was lax a little bit so that our people could have grace. But you know you gotta think of terms of grace as like a, a, a late a late uh, a late phone bill. You oh, know? Right. You have a phone bill coming in and it's due tomorrow but you don't have the money for it. So they give you a little grace period of like seven days. Time to get it right. A time to get it right. Well, you know, in the mind of a Christian or something like that, uh, uh, their definition of grace is, all right, well, the phone bill is tomorrow. Let me just rip it up and throw it away. Right. You know what I mean? I don't have to pay it at all. Yeah, you don't have to pay it at all. But you do have to. You, you got to pay. Right. You know? Right. Hey, the only thing that stopped was the sacrifices. And guess what? Yahweh Shai was the sacrificial land without blemish. Right. So the laws didn't stop at all. Right. Yeah. Hey, the laws is not... So put it like this, what is the Lord going to judge the two-thirds for? What is he going to judge them off of? The law. All right? The law is the got, got adultery going on. You got prideful niggas, prideful bitches. You know, <laughs> it's what it is, man. Yeah. So what is the Lord going to do with them? He's going to judge them. You know, the Lord said uh, in Proverbs, the first chapter, uh, he had reached out his hand, but no man regarded. You know, he said, I will mock and I will laugh at your calamity. So hey, the Lord's gonna send judgment upon those. Uh, we talk about the Israelites right now. He's gonna send judgment upon the two thirds for not rehearsing and keeping the law to the best of their ability. Now we know the law is not gonna uh, save us because we can't keep all the law. Matter of fact, scriptures say if you offend one law, you offend all. So this is where grace comes in. If we can uh, not get shape ups and round the corners of our head and our beards, that's something we can keep. All right, if we're not to worship false gods, and guess what? We're not to worship those guys, but to worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot. All right, certain things we can keep and certain things we can't. Now, you know, the Sabbath, the Sabbath is a day you can keep. And we hold the Sabbath off the moon. That's the right way to hold the Sabbath. Now, say, this is why, this is how we're not perfect. And this is why, and, and this is why, uh, Satan trying to, just trying to not yeah. get in my brain. Yeah. Um, and this is why the Lord is going to activate that second covenant because it's gonna be in our inward parts because here it is, you have the Sabbath, we rehearse it and hold it to the best of our ability. But guess what, if you're not reminded every week and if you're busy ripping and running, working and whatever, the Sabbath come in, you may forget that today the Sabbath. You may go pop your eve, man, but you didn't do it willingly. You didn't premeditate and go, I, I'm good. You know, you just did and you go, oh shit, damn, Sabbath, fuck, all right, shit. But that's because we're not perfect, man. So we're made to go off, but we're gonna be made to do right perfectly because the laws are gonna be in our temple parts, man. Yeah, and that's the second eight, and that's another point. Um, I had that right here, but uh, Hebrews the eighth chapter and the sixth verse on down, it talks about the second covenant. Right. You know, 
where it says that the laws are going to be put in our inward parts. So, so what's the point? If the law is done away with, then why are the laws going to be put in us in the, in the kingdom of heaven? Right. You know? Right. And we're not in the second covenant yet, man. That's right. That's right. Listen to the Mr. Uh, Private Eye vocab alone and his minions. We're not in the second covenant. We're not in the kingdom. Where's the kingdom at? Where's the king? Where's, where, matter of fact, where's the Lord? Where's he at physically? Can we go see him? Can we go take a trip into a, a city and go check him out? Can we go talk to him? He ain't even here. King David. So we're not in the kingdom, man. This is pure hell, man. Yeah. This is Esau's kingdom. And matter of fact, we at the end of his age, man. We at the end of his rulership. You know? Hey, real quick, before I read it, I just wanted to you know, correct myself. I was talking about um, back in Genesis or whatever. When uh, you know, Adam, when Adam and Eve they ate the, uh, the fruit. I called it an apple. You don't yeah. know that. You know, you just know it's a fruit. Yeah. Really sin. We know it really sin. Yeah, we know that it, it, it's symbolic. Uh, that represents uh, uh, sin, man. Right. All right. Uh, 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 basically, tapping into the knowledge of wickedness, man. That's what that was. It's not actual fruit. Yeah. And, there, and, there, and there was no tree either. The trees right. represent the other nation. Yeah. Right. And they wasn't naked either. Right, 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 right. 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 That means right. Na word. naked means shame and not having the word, right. not having the covering. That's right. What's that scripture? Um, put on the whole armor. Right. Or, or, or the yeah. righteous yeah. garments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or um, put on thy beautiful garments. Right. Oh, yeah. it's true. Right, right, right. Even Jake say that shit when they when they don't got their gun on them, like respect light. Yeah. You yeah. naked, yeah. naked out here, man. Yeah. 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 Look at that, man. <laughs> 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 Judges 12 and 11. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers and the places of drawing water. Yeah, so they that are delivered, all right, in the, in the, in the, in the Yep. Judges 12 and 11. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers. Right. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers, okay? And you can get real symbolic when it comes to archery and the bows and arrows, all right? In this case, uh, fast forward to 2021, you know, in our near future when this place gets destroyed, all right, that 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 arrow is going to be those thermonuclear IC, ICBM nuclear missiles, man, you know, and, and if you want deliverance from that, okay, you got to do this, right on? Hey, hey, you speaking of the, uh, how you said the arrow represents the nuclear missile being shot off, but that's, this, this is, this is the same as what's going on right now. You got rap music. Everybody's a rapper. Every rapper yeah. that's that one that's really good, they metaphor, man. They, they got metaphors, man. They know how to put words together to 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 paint a picture. And you got to think of those words and, and image what he's saying, and then you go, oh, I get it. We had Pac-9, this does something. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the scripture. That's that's how you know this is Jake, man. Yeah. Hey, they'll, they'll, they'll call a gun a hammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Esau doesn't make those terms right. naturally, man. He picks it up from Israel and then he starts to say it too, or he understands. This is why Esau got to watch us. They have to watch us, they have to study us, they have to learn uh, uh, how we speak. They have to know. Matter of fact, what's the dude, the, the snitch, the rat? Uh, oh, Takashi. Uh, Takashi, man. When he said, um, we got him locked up, uh, well, got him indicted, when he said, uh, put a. Uh, what do you say? A ten pack? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, a yeah. Pack yeah, on his head yeah, yeah. or something like that. A thirty you know, pack. A thirty pack. Like they know what a thirty pack is. You see, uh, somebody that don't know street terms, they'd be like a thirty pack. What the hell he's talking about? <laughs> you know? But no, nah, them feds, they listening. They Speak go, English, please. Okay, we know what you're talking about. You talking about giving thirty thousand dollars to somebody for somebody to go take somebody out? Yeah, lock them up. Hey, you know? Oh, it's locked. They uh, did that at the Frank Hampton movie with the uh, with the CIA or what FBI was looking up. And they tried to uh, use their words against them to make them go against each other. They said, oh, like, yeah, I dig. Yeah. They said, oh, we're going to dig on them or something like that. Yeah. He's like, we already know they're watching right, us. Right, right, right. Oh, matter of fact, when you go, brothers, I've seen, uh, I know you probably see, uh, oh, brothers that's older, uh, you know, uh, state mm. property. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Remember Beanie Siegel? Yeah. He said, he's, uh, remember Skino Sparks? He was like, um, he was like, yeah, man, we having a party. Yeah. He was like, the party was good. <laughs> Shit got it. <laughs> and then it was, it was, they were showing you how, mm. how what really went down. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah. You know, he was speaking in code, man. He said yeah. we had a party. Hey, 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 half, half baked. I would really like some cocaine, please. Well, I have this it's Hawaiian ice. You know, yeah, yeah, like yeah. those words, man. Yeah, yeah. but it, it, we bringing that up because this is how the Bible is written, man, in dark parables and, and metaphors, man. That's Jake, man. That's not Esau. Okay. 
Freaking Big O made a whole song called Ebonics, man. Mm, Broke down like every single slang to you. Mm -hmm. uh, you said you said about the hammer. Oh yeah, I was saying out of the call, he saw the hammer. You know, and he saw he also calls him what the uh, the school is school. Want to show you how the road is the ultimate cake. Yeah. He called the whipping stick. You know, beat your ass because he hey, the Lord designed he saw to kick Israel's ass, man. When Israel go off, he, he saw to kick your ass, man. They really kick your ass before the great kingdom, man. So he got to kick your ass. He you know, just switch. Yeah. He switch. And, and was not he uh, Jacob's brother, older brother? You know, older brother to chastise the younger brother? <laughs> you know? Like you also say, I, something about, uh, you know, going to get your uh, consciousness, I'm your consequence. Esau is Jake's consequence, man, for being a wicked nigga. Because they deserve that shit, man. When they get caught in a drug bust, selling all crack to our people and shit, they deserve to get all fucked up and stuff like that, man. Being adulterers and adulterers. Smack out Dutch's father and 11. They got delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water. That's the places of drawing water, right? Our captivity. Okay? You know that in the book of Joshua, they use that as an example with the Hamites that, that kind of uh, supplanted those of the little bit. And um, it was uh, too late because they already made a covenant that they wouldn't kill them. So what they do, they made them viewers of uh, viewers of wood and drawers of water. No servants. So what? They that are delivered from what destroys from the destruction and the noise of pestilence in their captivity, which we're in right now today. Go ahead. Here. So they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Here we go. There in our captivity shall we rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, man. What are the righteous action, acts of the Lord? The law, statutes, and commandments, man. You know? And what is a rehearsal? A rehearsal is something that you don't get right every time, you know? Right. You, have, you know, you have, you, it's something that you practice and you keep to get yourself ready, all right, for that great day. You know, like you have a wedding rehearsal, you know? The Lord, the Lord like, likened uh, Israel's salvation to a wedding ceremony. But before the actual wedding itself, you have ceremonies where you rehearse the, uh, the, uh, the actual process, man. You know, and that's what we're doing now, rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord, man. Yeah, like, even, um, you know, they, they, uh, oh, yeah, I was just thinking about that. And then what, they, um, they, you know, you gotta go to the, uh, the seamstress to fit on the gown. Yeah. That's right. Yep. You know? yeah, yeah, real quick, uh, you look at the word, uh, uh rehearsing, and the blue letter, strong, uh, eight. 85, 67, <laughs> the Hebrew word there is Tanakh. And it says, um, it says uh, to recount, rehearse, uh, rehearse, tell again. Yeah. It says um, to ascribe, celebrate, Ooh, commemorate. Well, that's interesting. Tell again, because, you know, here it is, you know, Jeremiah uh, was 74, we were discontinued from our heritage. So, you know, in a time where we we're away from our knowledge and wisdom and understanding, now through the rehearsal, we're telling it all over again, you know. So this is like nothing, nothing, nothing new. That's why when it says it shall come in, um, uh, a new song, it's really kainos, which means refresh. You know? yeah. It says celebrate, commemorate, lament, rehearse. Now, you say lament. Yeah, lament. Yeah. Oh, okay, lament. No, no, no. Yeah. It says to give presents, uh, to distribute gifts, especially to higher persons. It says, um, although they distribute gifts or hire among the peoples where others read. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. to tell again, to recount. Yeah, that's it. You know, yeah, again. I like that. Yeah. We got some. So, uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1. It says, My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. It says, For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. So it's not, it's not something that's just written, like I was saying before. It's not something that you just do just to do it. It's for length of days and for peace, you know, and prosperity, you know, pretty much. That's why, that's why in Habakkuk, the second chapter, it, it describes Esau as being as death. Why? Because show me one law in his, in his, uh, in his laws, all right, that actually go with the scriptures. Literally everything that he says and pushes out is completely against what the Bible says, which is why he's saying Hey, the very first, uh, um, the very first uh, verse in the Bible, where it says, uh, 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 "In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth," which we know that to be the powers, 
But what does he do? He says, oh, this no, uh, it was evolution. It was a big bang, you know? Everything that the scriptures say, he goes against it, man. Real quick, this is Psalms 10 and 2. Oh. It says the wicked. Oh. <laughs> you want to keep this down? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. It says the wicked and his pride do a persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boast of his heart's desire and blesses the covetous whom the Lord uh, abhorreth. The wicked through the pride of his countenance. Well, 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 the wicked boast of his heart's desire. Right. You know, what, what does this devil do all the time? Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna go to Mars, uh, listen to the audio of this rover going across the, 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 the surface of Mars. We're gonna live there in um, 2024. And, and all these uh, 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 um, uh, ambitious, ambitious plans that he has for the future, because his inward thoughts are going to be uh, 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 that his houses shall continue forever, man. You know, but the Lord is going to disappoint. Oh, you know, He's yeah. going to disappoint yeah. and turn everything upside down on your head, man. Hey, Job, the twentieth chapter, man. Yeah, Job, the Lord, the Lord is going to destroy Esau at the height of his, uh, uh, the elevation and height of his pride, man. That's 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 cold, man. The Lord's gonna take these devils out at the height and elevation of their pride, man. You know, and that's uh, going into that uh, word excellency. When you look up in Job 20, 20 and five, four and down, twenty four and down. So um, it says, the wicked through through the pride of his continence will not seek after Yahweh. Yahweh is not in all his thoughts. Hey, it's funny you mentioned excellency real quick though too. It's like um beating a the, the 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 best time to fight a fighter. And get good glory for it is in his prime, mm. you know, yep. right? Boxing, yeah, yeah, boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, yeah, if you yeah. beat if you beat up like Manny Pacquiao to this, uh, like right now, it would be a great achievement. But it'd be like, eh, yeah, yeah, like you know, he's like profit. he's like forty, you know, bro, he's like forty five years old, man. I don't know. Yeah, if you would have beat yeah. his ass like 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 yeah. fifteen years ago, then but, I can say something. Matter of fact, that happened with uh, Devontae Davis and um, what's the northern brother that the, uh, the northern dude. Uh, that messed up. Remember, he was fighting with his damn legs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, damn, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, Javante Davis fought him, and then right, right behind him, um, uh, what's the Devin Haney fought him uh -huh. and beat him. But he was, you know, he was, he wasn't in his prime anymore. Yeah, prime. You know, it's like how you said with uh, with Manny Pacquiao. Terrence Crawford want to fight Manny Pacquiao, but if you know you get that fight, everybody know Terrence Crawford. You going to dust him? But that's this whack. You know, it's whack, man. Come on, man. But the Lord's gonna come back and get Esau right in his excellency in his prime. Yep. <laughs> hey, hey, matter of fact, I'm gonna get that real quick. This is uh real quick. This is the book of Job. <laughs> this is the book of Job, chapter 20 and 6. It says, Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? You know, so when you go into this word excellency, um, the Hebrew word there is shah, shaya, 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 and it says uh, elevation. When we jump down to the lexicon, it says elevation height. So at the elevation and height of his pride, yeah. I'll read it again. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, meaning he had that pride, man. You know, and even physically, he has satellites. See, what gives Esau that pride? Is uh his, is the technology which was given to him by the Lord on the left hand side, and that's witchcraft, man. You know, physically he has what satellites up in the heavens, man, and those satellites are like his angels because they can actually project images and he can see across the world. That gives a man power, man. Yeah, we're just creatures, but having that sort of power like that, which we think is normal, because we got cell phones to see us on the live stream and things like that. Well, how much more the righteous power, the, the naturalness and righteous power of Yahweh Bachim Yahushua? That's yet to come. But his pride is not only that, but also his beast system. Because with the beast system, that opened up antennas to more power, to control people directly, man. You know, to be up in your mind, man. If you got a microchip in you with the right device, he can manipulate your mind, man. You know, he can, he can track you. You know, he can, G matter of fact, yo, walk in GPS. So this man wants to sit in the seat of the Most High. He wants to be as though he is the Most High, man. All right? Yeah, and um, and uh, uh, about having control of everything and that gets into that uh, 5G technology. It's all that all time, man. We're going to see now in reality. That's how we know that the RFID microchip is the, the, the MOB, man. Game changer. You know? 
Yeah, because what? Man, you got you got the 5G technology, and then you got what? You got the internet of things, man. You know, you you, you can have a smart toaster and everything, man. So like, literally, everything is connected, you know, through the through the internet. You know, and what? We know that he that he controls all of that, so that henceforth he controls you and everything around you. It just goes into that uh, him being in the power seat and him trying to be as the most high, man. Yep. Yep. And uh, according to this uh, chapter here, um, this is the portion. I'm gonna read the last verse and I'm gonna come back up. This is uh, Job 29, uh, Job 20 and 29. This is the portion of a wicked man from Yahweh and the heritage appointed unto him by Yahweh. So this, what we're uh, reading, all right, is the, is the lot and portion of a wicked man. And we know who the sons of the wicked are. That's Esau, man. Right? So this is his lot that the Most High gave him. Uh, and uh, and, and, and we read before how um, we were all made, uh, we were all creatures made subject to vanity. Mm -hmm. well, well, he was made subject unto being the devil. Yep. Yeah. All right. That's, uh, vessel of dishonor. Right. Oh, He's a, a, a vessel of dishonor. Yeah. You know. And it also says all things were created for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil, man. Yeah. So you know, there's, you know, people will look at it. Well, why did if 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 the, if, if the Lord hates Esau, then why did he create him? Well, I mean, who are we to answer the Lord, man? Right. Hey, hey, you, we know why, because the false balance is an abomination to the Lord. Exactly. That's what it is. What's 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 the movie without the, the opposing character, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's without the, the, the bad guy, man? You know what I'm saying? You know, so you just got Superman just flying around, just picking flowers and, and helping old ladies and getting cats out of trees and shit. That's a whack-ass movie, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to have the drama, man. You know? Yeah, real quick, this is Romans chapter 9 and um, uh, uh, verse uh, verse 16. So then it is uh, verse 15. Uh, For he said unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of Yahweh that showeth mercy. For the scriptures say unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose, have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore have he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he hearteneth. Hey, and right there, and what, what the Lord said, he said, he basically said he do it for his name, so his name may be magnified, man. How, like, that's, that's the ultimate glory to let you know that you can set something up you know what I'm saying? For it to come back to you and everybody can look at you with all of the praise, man. Yeah. Like, when you look at Esau, what does he do? He copies the blueprint of the Lord. This is why they do what? The, the Hegelian dialect, or other words, problem, reaction, solution. Yeah. So you can look at them as that they're the God, they're the Most High. Right. They're the supreme being. Like, look, you're in this situation, we're going to pull you out of it. But little do the mass of the people know that they're pulling the strings behind closed doors. Yeah. So they get this blueprint from the Lord, man says uh, verse 19 thou will say then unto me why do he yet find fault for who have resisted his will right because the average person like I had a brother just said like well this shit don't make no sense I, I don't understand it why because you think about it in, the, in a fleshly mind state man ultimately we can't think like the Heavenly Father but we have the basic understanding and, and it's simple really when you get your feelings and emotions out of it and you think logically man it's clear as day Hey, this is the manuscript. Mm -hmm. These are the instructions, man. You know? It says, verse 20, Nay, but, O man, who art thou that replies against Yahweh? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? Right, so he got that, he got that right. You know what I'm saying? You make this... You take a regular piece of clay, you make it into a bowl or something. Man, right. fuck this bowl. I'm gonna make this. Nah, I'm gonna right. make it this way. You got the right to do that because you're the creator. Right. When you watch what uh, uh, Edward Scissorhands, Edward Scissorhands, he had a creator. Yeah, yeah. At yeah. the end of the movie, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He had a lot of different questions and stuff like this, and then the creator showed up at the end. You know what I mean? Talking to him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, like you said, here, here you are with a mold table, and you got your mud, your clay. And here you are making vessels out of the same the same uh, material. 
you make one onto a vessel of honor, which you gonna put in your, your uh, kitchen or your living room somewhere because you like it. Yeah. Then you make one that's kind of ugly looking, but you'll keep that in the garage somewhere. Put your tools in there or something. Yeah. You know what the vessel gonna say? Yo, why you making me be in the garage though? He all in the damn kitchen. Yeah. What's up with me though? That's Esau, man. Hey, why? Because the most I put his ass up in the caucus mountains. That's why. You know, them damn caves and them dungeons and them bats and shit, man. Yep, yep, yep. It says, verse 21, Have not the powder power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? What if the most high willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath to destruction. So the Lord is letting you know that, yo, I create out of the one lump, I created two images and they're going to play out exactly how I want them to play out. Now the evil that's on the earth, I'm suffering it. I'm allowing it to happen to ultimately show my power in the end that good will always triumph over evil and that what I say stands. Not the image that the world wants to paint. Not the image that Esau wants to paint, man. He was created for this purpose. Everything that he's doing within the earth now he was created for this purpose. And that's all to glorify the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh and the Son, Yahweh Shah, man. If I may add, uh, also he did that with Pharaoh. Because, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, because he, he, uh, he, he was trying to harden Pharaoh's heart and, and show that the Lord is, only, is the only way that he can get you, he brought you in so he can also get you out. Right, He's right. the only way, you know? Right, that's right. And, and, and the Lord does that with everybody. We're even subject to it. We're nothing special. He does that with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like how he mentioned like Passover season. You know what I mean? She get airy. I got this crazy spirit. I, think, I don't know. I just know my spirit changed around this time. But I don't have no control of it. The Lord having the angels download their instructions for the next day, every That's single right. day, man. Joel 33. You know what I'm saying? So you just following the will of the Heavenly Father. A person that just all of a sudden decides to jump their ass out in traffic. It was a spirit that was put on them to do it. The Lord set that up. They possess. Exactly. Yeah. Unto the Lord, our power belong uh, uh, the issue of salvation and the issues of death, man. You know, he, he he does it all. But people just can't get over the, the feelings and emotions aspect of it. You have to be able to always to see clearly. You have to be able to put that shit to the side, man. It may be hard when you first accepting it. But hey, when you see it for what it is, then you'll be glad, man. Uh, real quick, jumping back in Job 20, right? Yeah, precept. Uh, yeah, precept. Uh, this is Matthew chapter 10 verse 28 and fear not though them which kill the body but are not be not able to kill the soul but rather fear him which is able to destroy body us uh, lucky both soul and body in hell so yes fear for y'all about some y'all man that's that's because like i said he's he put you in and he can also take you out so hey yeah, put you big Put you back in right, and right, take right, you right, out right, of the right. When right. <laughs> he put you back in, don't mean you gotta be whole. He yeah, <laughs> can put you back in and you are decrepit, man. Yeah. Okay. That's that's why that's why uh Tupac had that uh, song Only Fair Death is coming back reincarnated. Yeah, yeah, it's like who wanna come back to this bullshit? Knowing that you in a situation and and and, and just speaking on things like that, because the men of old they knew reincarnation was real, but they knew it to be in in a, in a good way. Because they was always looking for you know, coming back in the end times when the Most High was going to give us back our glory, and now we're within that time where the Most High is going to receive His glory. Receive, we're going to receive our glory on the back end, and Esau is going to get everything that's coming to him, death and destruction, man. Hey, real quick too, reincarnation, man. Back then was not far fetched, bro. That's right. Everybody, even the other nations, knew it. And I get you with something because all the all, most of the, the nations back then, all right, when they when they when they uh they, their purpose was to have women, multiple wives, and to bring forth their seed back, bring forth them to come back. So they needed those sons to, to take over so that they eventually, to have what? They could come back, man. So it was it was a thing where you had family, where a man would have multiple wives so he could bring his family back, you know? So all the other nations knew about it too. It's just today's age when Esau and Christianity Right. They don't want to believe in reincarnation because it destroys their doctrine, man. Exactly. You know, it proves the scriptures to be true, man. It proves that, look, that what well, we got the truth, all right? You come back your third and fourth generation, man. You know, how you expected, uh, 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 you know, even back then you watch those movies, man. They show you why the king had multiple wives. He wanted, he needed heir, yeah, you know? Right. You have a right. son? 
And they, they, they process goes on, man. No? I think that was other Manatazapa who said, like, we got to answer all their questions. How about to answer some of our questions, man? Like, one question, like, how the, uh, the uh, uh, disciples actually, I was shy. Who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? i like to see Vocab break that down, man, please. Hey, remember years ago, Vocab had a problem with, um, uh, uh, with the, the, the variants, uh, variants against father and mother. I remember that two years ago, a year ago, I remember he was, uh, uh, confused about that. And then Apostle had brothers, had all those brothers, you know, everybody who was, you know, in the spirit go into that. I remember I did a video on that's why I remember, you know. He had a problem with that, uh, uh, the variants, that difference, the Lord put a difference. Because the Lord is not contradicting itself when he says a man shall be set at variance against father and mother. It's just that they're going to be at a difference. You're going to honor your father and mother, but the difference is you're going to serve the Lord and they're not. They might be against what you believe in because they don't believe. Yeah. So now you're at an odds, a difference with them. But that don't mean you dishonor them. Exactly. That's simple. And, and, that, and that ultimately really goes back to the curses. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A man's eye shall be evil towards his, his woman and the children of his bosom which he shall leave. A woman's eye shall be evil towards her husband and you know, uh, her children and things like that. That's that's what dumb loud ass car. That's what people don't understand. Everything is a trickle down effect. So everything in which we see playing out today, how the most I said, what well, I declared the end from the beginning. So how can he contradict himself when everything is playing out according to his role, man? Because when you go back into what the, the, the curses, the most I specifically told us what will come upon us if we didn't serve him. But the thing that's missing and why people don't understand it, because the most I didn't tell you how it would happen. You know what I'm saying? So we see how things are happening because what we see, uh, uh, how ultimately is our woman up against us or whatever the case may be. Primarily what the so-called white man giving them power, you know what I'm saying, within the society, uh, uh, doing slavery them emasculating the men, giving the power over the woman. So what? That's a trickle-down effect of how it ultimately happened. The variance between man, woman, and the children and different things like that. Yeah, not a woman over the man. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And they're pushing this agenda for women to be over men. Mm -hmm. You know, heavy, man. So like real quick, too, because Willie Lynch said that his theory would last 300 years, man, about 300 years. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's coming into this time now. That 300 years is, uh, I forgot the uh, exact math, but it's pretty much around this time still right now to where his theory is still lasting like he said it would, man. So that's how bad we, that's how bad slavery was, man. That's just how bad the Lord is real quick because there it is, it really links thought like that, which means, you know, he had one motto, you know, take the body, uh, I mean, take the mind, keep the body. Yeah, keep the you know, I want to show you how, like the book was going into, when the, when the Lord's, you know, movie, the, the scriptures, you got one little thing that if you change, it changes the whole, you know what I'm saying? Changes the whole movie itself. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is going to what the brother was saying about how all these prophecies, you know, why, why basically, um, I can see it. Basically, Jake don't know, Jake just doesn't want to uh, read. So, uh, Sloppy, this is um, Isaiah chapter 35, verse 16. Mm -hmm. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate, for my mouth it, it hath commanded, and her and his spirit it hath gathered them. Yeah, the, the, no one of them shall fail, which is prophecy. And like uh, one of y'all brothers just had said, you know, uh, yeah, you said uh, you take out one little thing and change the whole movie. That's why all prophecies has to be fulfilled to so complete the movie. Every scene got to get played out. And whatever how the timeline of that scene, that's when it comes to pass when the Lord is moving on to the next season to pass on the next prophecy. You know, and that's why uh, Elder Prophet Tahar, he coined this year, the Spirit of Power, Yahweh Shemel Shai, he coined this year the year of hastening unto the coming of our Lord, man. Meaning we're hastening the day and praying for a few days. So we want the Lord to speed up the prophecies, man. You know? Uh, Slock, it was actually 34 and 16. That was a good one. Go ahead. Oh, that, that was it, really. Hey, and real quick, because I, I don't, I don't want to uh, turn it into like a, a, a woman topic, but it's just uh, you know examples of things, right? Real quick. Uh, already a woman. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, 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 we're gonna turn it out this, right? But you gotta right, bitches too, man. Real quick, uh, this is uh, going back into the point of, of the curses and, and having that trickle down effect, right? 
Isaiah 13 and 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. And then what Isaiah, uh, what, four on one? You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 seven, how women, go? seven women shall take. Yeah, seven women shall uh, cleave unto a man or whatever. Now, what is the, what is the, the big talk now, like on social media? I value man all of a sudden, right? Yeah, yeah, don't yeah, that, yeah. Don't that make sense? <laughs> right? Don't that make sense? Well, Esau is still trying to combat that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? By because they they just um Esau is trying to combat that because they uh one one of those groups one of those groups is donating I believe like uh 10, 10 million or ten billion to women entrepreneurs within the next ten years or something like that. So Esau is still constantly trying to put the woman on a pedestal above the men. But the Lord is like, oh no, I'm gonna have the the tables turn around. I'm gonna bring because how Apostle Gabriel said we the real high value men. But the Lord is using. You know, uh, two thirds to bring things out as an example. You know what I'm saying? Because all of these niggas gonna wind up dying off, and we gonna be claiming them women. You know what I'm saying? They could be making all of the millions and all that now, but hey, that shit ain't gonna save you in the end. You gonna scoop it right up, up dead body. Okay, see, I got you. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 32, verse two. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, and and, and a covert from the tempest as the rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a, of a great rock in a weary land. That was crazy. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. No, no, you got it. Yeah, I got, I got some. I got some. Uh, this is Second Exodus chapter 9. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind. The wind represents the destruction, uh, uh, you know, the uh, upcoming Jacob's trouble that's coming to our, to our people, you know? In that, in that day, you're going to want to be with not just any man, but a man of the Lord, man. Right. Because the Lord, Yahweh is going to be guiding that man of the Lord. You know? yeah, that and could... that makes him, and that alone makes him high body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, cause, uh, because uh, when, when this society crumbles, all right, the Lord is going to uplift us. Remember, this is a balance scale, man. Wickedness. Right now, wickedness is over righteousness. All right? But when the Lord starts to break down the wickedness, righteousness is going to come up, man. You know? And that's, hey, all praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. We be that elect. Then guess what? We're going to be all right, man. While the rest of these people bugged out, crazy, and mind all twisted, you know? Hey, we should be calm, man. All right? The knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability, which means to be stable in these times. You know, it's funny too, like you watch like uh, them shows like Kevin Sammy and Alpha Male Strategies and stuff like that. The thing that women like is uh, confidence yeah, and right. stuff like that. So imagine, yeah. you know, a man of the Lord just chilling like everybody bugging out and going all crazy. A man, a man of the Lord just sitting there like, well, Psalms 91. You're going to be looking real sexy in that day. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Psalms 91. Yeah. Uh, 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 they shall come down outside but not touch thee. Right, right, you know? right. And that's, to me, I look at that that uh, scripture and I always think of the movie scene. I hear this spiritual clouds, he just walking and shit. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Hey, and it said, it shall not come nigh thee, man, and your family, man. So you can be with your family and get into the shit by these people bugging the hell out. Might be walking into it and they like no 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 i'm running away but you know it's a safe haven it's safe for you man yeah. you know say we'll put that that angel have a charge of it real quick you know how else we're gonna be good in that day man because we got a taste of it with the hawaii brother man oh, when yeah. the missiles was coming to hawaii he was rejoicing yeah, yeah, yeah. you know <laughs> yeah. so how, how you think how you think we're gonna be in that yeah, day man yeah. we're gonna be in that same type spirit man yeah. <laughs> running, running, running around smiling and shit. you know what i mean like, hey, that's hey, hey, that's confidence, and women are naturally going to flock towards that. Yeah. Hey, what, the Lord said we're going to uh, Job the fifth chapter. He said we shall laugh. We shall laugh, yeah. yeah. Uh, real quick, uh, Micah chapter 7 and 10, then she that is mine enemy, because what, the, the Edomites set up this, uh, this, uh, 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 this nigga woman, when I say nigga woman, I'm talking about all the tribes, to be your enemy, man. You know, pretty much it's all systematic. And she that is my enemy shall see it. See what? Right. See, 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 see the glow about you in that day. When, when, right. when, 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 uh, when the tides turn, so to speak, and she see a man of the Lord and everybody else, big, big, uh, a uh, 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 big, big Tyrone and all that stuff that you know, uh, 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 been laying it down for all these years. You know, he's 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 curdled. He's sweating bullets. He's running around like her. And then she look over and see a man of the Lord. He's cool, calm, and collected, man. You know, she shall see it. And shame shall cover her, which said unto me, 
Where is the Lord thy God? Come on, man. Hey, that shows you how the truth is an investment, man, because yeah. Yeah. investment, you know, you can put money into it and it could, you know, go up and down, up and down. But a smart investor, they'll tell you to hold, hold, you know, hold your position because they know soon enough, you know, that investment is going to yield greatly, just like, you know, right now, Bitcoin and shit is yielding greatly and everybody wants a piece of it. And now, what? Everybody, you can't get a whole Bitcoin now. You know, you got to settle for, for uh, you know what I'm saying, a little, uh, um, of it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Hey, hey, when brother read that, hey, brothers that, uh, you know, you had women, you, know, you had women before in the past, and you had to break loose from them because they was demons, they was talking their shit, you know, being Satan unto you. Well, guess what? Hey, the Lord is going to lift us brothers in that day, and she's going to be put to shame. That's right. You know, she's counting on you not to That's be right. a man of the Lord. Right. She's hoping you fall out. You know, she's wishing evil on you so she can say, yes, yes, I can move on, I can move on. He was wicked, he was wicked. Y'all <laughs> bitches is wicked, man. Fucking bitch. Hey, I say this, hey, I say as a man humbly, Lord willing, if I be the elect, you bitches in trouble, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the Lord have it to give give it our way <laughs> and, and let us have it our way, Boy, you in trouble, man. Yeah. Off with your head. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> one, one more thing, Sloggy. Hey, did Willie really Wonka rip up his golden ticket, man? Hell no, nah, he was happy as hell he got it, man. But these women, that's what they did. They ripped up the golden ticket. Yeah, right. Hey, yeah. guess what? Hey. Oh, go ahead, man. Uh, it says, Mine eyes shall behold her now. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire in the streets. Yeah. That's interesting, too. <laughs> oh, because, no, real quick. Oh, oh no, you got it. You got it. Okay. No, I was going to say, because I was thinking the brother just said, you know, you ripped up your golden ticket because, you know, hey, if this brother's the elect and this woman you done laid down with her and she's been with her for a few years and then all of a sudden it don't work out, she think this woman's mind. She really think that she could she could be with another man. She thinks she not yep, just another yep, man, yep. but another man of the Lord. These women are deceived. You know, the Lord gave them a strong delusion, man, to believe in a lie. You with this woman for a certain amount of years. She taking care of you. She helping you out, your family and everything. She part of the family. And the next thing you know, things don't work out. She thinks she could go be with another another man of the Lord. Like, are you serious? Ah, man. Oh, man. It don't work that way, man. man. And then some women will argue and say, well, can I repent? Listen, man, that's premeditated adultery. Another thing, too, why not reconcile with that man? Um, here it is. When you come into this truth, it's a renewing of the mind and being washed by the word. Okay? And that grace where the Lord said, um, he wake up at our ignorance of things we did we didn't know when we was in the world. Well, now we got a clean start. So for even for you women, you women that wake up to the truth, you acknowledge your how about shimmy how shy, all right? And then you, you got a man or the Lord with him, you gotta be with that man. You can't just leave that man because things don't work out. You wanna cast him off to be wicked. And then you think you can go deal with another man or the Lord. It don't work that way. You're supposed to have repented, all right? <laughs> Sometimes some of these women, what they should do is go and, and be sorrowful, go fast and go be alone and pray that the Lord give you back your husband. How about that? That's the most honorable thing to do instead of trying to find, he wicked though, because he did that, he wicked. And thinking that some, and then guess what? You got them adultery ass wicked men that know they Israelites that's gonna take you in. Yeah, yeah, yo, he wasn't doing that right according to the scripture. Let me read this for you, baby. Hey, yo, yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? If you want to come over here, I'll take care of you. Fucking yeah. adulterous niggas. Lord gonna kill you niggas, man. Man, that shit pisses me off because these, oh, go ahead, man, go ahead. Like man. It's mad woman out here, bro. Niggas, man. And it's mad woman of the world that you can get, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, that you won't be held accountable for, that like, is. like, uh, uh, you know what I mean? A, you know, a chick that's supposed to be in the scriptures or whatever. The chicks in the world, you know what I mean? Hey, man, I just lay with them all as Dr. Dr. Giannis any goddamn way, man. Straight up and down, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying, man, you just have your phone with them. Don't take none of this shit serious. Be in the end anyway. So why take these bitches serious any goddamn way? Oh, he ain't, lay, he ain't lay down with you for that minute, that, for that long? Oh, oh man. Nah, that brother, oh. He ain't, he ain't had sex with you that long? He ain't too benevolent. <laughs> nah, that brother, oh, man. No, you all, nigga. That's crazy. Hey, man. Yeah. Hey, man, let me say, like, uh, 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 men of the Lord are going to be slim pickings, especially in the time of, like, Jacob's trouble, where, like, men got to be uh, pilgrims upon the earth. You know, brothers, we've been having conversations like, what's the maximum number of women you carry around yeah. with you in Jacob's yeah. trouble? A good like, two. No, a, a good strong two. You know what I mean? <laughs> that leaves a lot of the you know, that leaves a lot of women on the wayside ready to get trotted down like a mire in the street, man. 
That's why a lot of uh, the daughters of Jerusalem are really, uh, fainting, uh, uh, fainting for thirst of their words in uh, Amos, the uh, 8th chapter and the 11th verse, man. Looking for the word, looking for somebody to guide them, teach them, and really be that covert for them, man. That covert, that covert meaning that I'm As rivers of water in a dry place, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, you dry, right? As rivers of water, water what keeps you alive. You know, water is life. So is a man to a woman. Right. You know, be a hedge. Without him, she lost. Yeah. You need a man because a man is a hedge. Despite this society, which they teach you, uh, in the apocrypha, they tell you that um, a woman that is left to uh, yeah, I go, a woman that's left to pleasures. Oh, um, um, over, much, over much liberty? Over much liberty, she destroy herself. Right, right, right. You know, because you're supposed to have a head. You're supposed to have your father or either your husband, man. You know, women left alone to do what they want to do, they get in, a, get in a lot of trouble. Matter of fact, they get exposed. They get exposed while they looking at social media. Because you got some women that lives in different places where they didn't grow up all exposed like in the hood. The hood boogers out here that doing wild shit. Some of these women that live in the suburbs, they not like that. But when they see it on social media, she get a girlfriend at the job, and then she more, you know, she ain't taught to beat, she get exposed to it. Now she become a de de demonic, man. You know, to say good girl going bad. Yeah. You know, so women get exposed to that shit, man. You know, and then the pride that they uplift here for women, they don't want to listen to you neither. You know, but hey, as the brother's bringing it out, when this place fall, you're going to need a man of the Lord. And, and but, but, but the woman is being exposed right now, though, you know? Like look at look at it. Over the past of what 30, 40 years, women was given the overmuch limit of, of liberty of uh, modern day feminism. And now look at look at that uh, look at what, what happens when you take the man out of the house and you rely on the government and your children and your children's 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 children are being raised by a uh, single woman. You know? You see the fruits of the of, of, of their labors today, man. Effeminate men, uh, hyper masculine women, you know? And 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 cause a K a K K S Kevin Samuel goes into it all the time. Right? They be cutting their asses they be, up. And they be cutting their asses up because here it is. You got this so valuable PhD, which uh, uh which college doesn't teach you shit because you don't even know your nationality. Right. You don't know nothing about the Bible, right? All you know is the um, the, the, the so-called wisdom that Esau taught you. Sure. And then you uh, you put your nose up and you look down upon everybody else. And you and you want and you want a man that make. Five hundred thousand dollars a year, man, and you got like two kids and shit, and all, and, and completely finished, man. Yep. You know, but the, but but the point is, you're seeing the fruits of their labor. A lot of these women, uh, they're 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 in the proverbial danger zone, as KS always says, and they're gonna die alone, man. You know, and that's how, and Esau did that on purpose because he knows the way that you destroy a nation is to take is to take away the man, all right, and uh, and and the nation is gonna fall after that, man, because men are the leaders. Uh, it says here, as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. If you're in the middle of a desert, you know, got that heat beating down on you, the sun beating down on you, a man is like a rock for you, a shady spot in the middle of a desert, man. You know? But you need men. Hey, real quick, so. You need, you need women. Yeah, it's, <laughs> you need uh, your house Yeah, man, we need your house We don't need the black. Yeah, 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 that's true. We can bring them back. So uh, Amos uh, 7 and 17. Therefore thus saith the Lord, thy wife shall be a harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword, and they shall, and thy land shall be divided line by line, and thou shalt die in the polluted land. And Israel shall surely go in, into captivity forth of his land. So a woman being a harlot, harlot in the city, and then the other scripture I said, what she does shall be trodden down as a mire in the streets. What did you say? She put the streets. Right. You know what I'm saying? These are street scriptures, man. <laughs> so hey, the, the Lord, the Lord is prophetic with his rounds too, because the Lord <laughs> had him saying all of this, man. You know, all of this, even even now to the slang that comes from Israel, it comes from the scriptures, man. Like how we go into that, and then Ezra at the end and say, watch. Right, right. Like, you know right, what I mean? Right. You young. You, Talk to somebody like, watch, yo, watch, watch, watch this, watch, 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 watch. I got you, watch, you know what I'm saying, like, watch, yeah. all type of things, man. Huh? Every now and then, the pause in the Psalms, will be like, it's a lot. Right, right,
Yeah, yeah, yeah. When uh, he took on the Harlot, man. And um, the most high wanted him to fill. Oh, uh, Jose. So like, why? Yeah, Jose. Yeah. I said Michael. Jose took upon the Harlot. And the Lord wanted him to feel how he felt with Israel. So now, even today, our woman has been a Harlot in the street, man. We deal with whor uh, a whorish woman, man. Your woman committing adultery on you and shit. And had to go through that shit, man. Now, you feel like how the Lord would feel. You know, I. Time to time, I compare that a lot, man, because when you uh you tell your woman, you know, do this, but you don't give an explanation. You just say, yo, I want that, you know, you could do that. And then she don't do it. And then she say in her mind, well, I ain't know why you wanted me to. I ain't, right? you ain't giving me a, like, yo, if you would have just did what I told you to do, then I wouldn't be pissed off. Just listen to what I said. That's like Israel, man. Israel just don't listen. They hard-headed, man. So you understand, like, how the Lord could be angry with us, man. Because here it is. The Lord said, do this, but you like, I don't feel like doing that. Or or you don't do it. Now the Lord pissed off, man. So how much more you, you know? Chapter 1, verse 2, the beginning of the word of the Lord by Hosea. And the Lord said unto Hosea, Go, take unto thee a wife of whoredoms and children of whoredoms. Yeah, oh, the, pro uh, the prostitution thing. You know, Jake get all emotional about that, man. You know, these women are hoes, man. Listen, you're prostituting whether you know it or not. All right? Here it is, you meet a woman, and a woman give you a rundown on, on how to, well, you got to pay for it anyway, man. You with a woman, she gonna either make you take out the eat, that's paying for it. All right, you just did. Hey, Go to certain Israelites, man, they niggas. But uh, you know, like I'm saying, you know, you pay for it anyway. You know, whether she take you out to eat, I mean, whether you take her out to eat, whether you take her to a movie, because she ain't gonna get it for free. So either way, but Jake got a problem when it's straight, it's straightforward, man. When it's straightforward, it's like, oh no, it's something that hurts you. Yeah. Oh no, it's just wrong. No, it's not, man. You know, it's one of the old fashions, man, from the beginning of time, man. And here it is, the Lord told Hosea to what? Have a holic, man. To, hey, to lay down with one. And then another thing too, common sense to show you, even in this day and age today, see, the, the Lord knows what time we was gonna be living in. All right, this time, here it is, you are having intercourse with a woman that laid down with another man before you, man. So automatically, uh, technically, that's adultery, man. Yep. So now, how do you not count it adultery? Through the grace of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. Same thing for you women. You laying down with this man, all right? You wake up to the truth, he's your husband, all right? You can't just go leave, you gotta rehearse that, man. You gotta rehearse that, man. You know, unless the Lord do some sort of way. Hey, the Lord is Lord. Hey, that's why the brother in uh, San Francisco, he said uh, one of his videos a long time ago, you know, really don't want to get into it because it gets messy, man. You know, trying to explain because it's different situations. Depends on that situation, man. First, it depends on the law. It depends on grace. But you have to deal with it according to the situation. According to that situation. That makes sense. Go ahead, huh? If I may like, hey, you know, you woman, you gotta uh, pray or whatever, man. Cause uh, remember Abigail with Nabal? The Lord had Nabal get catch a heart attack, man. And then um, King David got with him. So, but you bound up to your husband until he dies, man. And then the scriptures say if you if if uh if you put her away, nobody is to get with her, man. If anything, she's to get back with her husband, man. Right. She's with him until 
he dies, man, and that's it. So it says, Go take unto thee a wife of whoredom and children of whoredoms, for the land hath committed great whoredom, departing from the Lord. So he went and took Gomer, the daughter of Diblaim, Dibla, which conceived and bare him a son. And the Lord said unto him, Call his name Jezreel, for, for yet a little while, and I will avenge the blood of Jezreel upon the house of Jehu, and will cause to cease the kingdom of the house of Israel. Going in, going in on that prophecy of Jeremiah the seventh chapter in the fourth verse, thou shalt discontinue from thy heritage. This is like the very beginning stages of it. All right? And it shall come to pass at that day that I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel, and she conceived again and bare a daughter. And the Most High said unto him, Call her name Laruhama, for I will no more have mercy. For I will no more have mercy upon the house of Israel, but I will utterly take them away. But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah, and I will save them by the Lord their power, and will not save them by bow, nor by sword, nor by battle, by horses, nor by horsemen. I want to show that our weapons of warfare are carnal. Now when she had weaned Laruhamah, she conceived and bare a son. Then said the Most High, call his name Loami, for they, for ye are not my people, and I will not be your power. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. That's right here in America, which is Babylon the Great. Okay, because what do people tell us? We are not, we're, we're not the Lord's people. We bring it out, we bring out the scriptures, we bring out the characteristics. Oh no, it's not you. Okay, then who is it? Well, I don't know, but it's not you. You know? That, 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 that's, that's prophesied to be the, 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 the true people of the Lord, man. Going to show that it's you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because it's the most absurd idea in everybody's mind. You know, going to show that it's true. If, if, uh, uh, right quick, if uh, Israel, man, is at the sand of the sea, why isn't there um, so-called J's everywhere, man? All across the face of the earth, wearing they freaking big hats, man. The little curls coming down the side of their head. They should be scattered all over the place if they're at the sand of the sea. But they're only little certain spots, man. You know what I'm saying? Certain spots in Brooklyn, and certain spots in Jersey, and shit. They ain't on little communities, man. Yeah. They should be all over the place, man. We should be, they should be walking down the street right now, we should be seeing them. That goes to show you that they're not the real people of the Lord, but vocab will tell you that they is. Hey, and, but, but you know what? That fits that that, that um that characteristic fits the evil life because it said that I'll make you small among the evil. You know? <laughs> That's right. That's right. They're gonna say either they're, they're gonna say either Judah, Benjamin, or Levi. <laughs> Levi. <laughs> It says, verse 11, Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head. That one head is King David. And it's also prophecy proven that the people in that land aren't the true uh, uh, Israelites because where is the northern kingdom? And it says, And they shall come up out of the land, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. So great shall be the day of uh, uh, another word for Israel, man. You know? Hey, three seconds. Hey, so with that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.